this is at a time where you could just holler at, you know, any female that was just chilling. They, you know, they they was you know, talking back to you, things like that. They was just saying like it was just a it was such a, a good time. Like it was, it was no Yeah, it was a vibe. It was just it was just Everybody just down there having fun. Another thing about niggas too I mean, is we gonna always turn shit into a show. Like they, they yeah. like you said, they yeah. the cars they had was back to back. Oh like, yeah, yo, that, this is when bro they, niggas you know was starting in minivans. <laughs> yo, yeah, I seen that. Peep shows, sad yo. peep shows, yo. Oh, wait, hold, y'all niggas didn't me. care, yo. Yeah, yo. Niggas been in corners in <laughs> my corners. Yo, this shit was crazy, like. Nah, 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 nah. This is the sandbox. <laughs> what are you drink more for? What are you a dickhead? <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the sandbox podcast. That was an accident. <laughs> yes. Yo, use is, use is back. Yeah, I ain't surprised. Yeah, I was surprised to see you back so soon. For the second, Nigga, for the surprised. second pod in the week, what? Oh, that's this is crazy. That's called a uh, a back to back. It's called a back to back. Oh man, um, consecutive. Yeah, y'all. We uh, <laughs> we all. So, like, I'm yeah, assuming all, like, everybody seen the documentary. Yeah, like, we all like it was a. Yeah. It was a bunch of documentaries that dropped. Yeah, it was uh, documentary week. It's funny it was just quiet just now, like because it's called quiet on the set. Yeah, it's yeah. like it was real quiet just now. Hold on, that, before we get into anything, um, I want to give a shout out to Fresco. Thanks, shout out Fresco, um, bro. He just had a terrible passing. And, um, I yeah, just want to give you a shout out, bro, and prayers up to you and your family. Hope everybody uh, fight through. Thanks. Sandbox here for you, bro. Yeah, sure. man. Whatever you need. Thanks. Uh, Ten seconds of silence. For sure. All right. All right. Rest in peace to Mama Fresco. Rest in peace. All right, man. man it's <sighs> on you. Jesus Christ! <laughs> fucking sad. Like it, we already slightly, uh, yeah. But um, a bunch of documentaries dropped. Mm-hmm. Like Money said, the Nickelodeon drawing dropped, and then like the one I'm pretty sure we all looking forward to, Freak Nick. Freak Nick. The party that was never told. Story party. I ain't gonna lie. Which one you want to do first? Let's let's let's, let's, get let's, let's just get, get the Nickelodeon drawing yeah, 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 out the way, bro. We granted, um, I didn't see the drawing coming. I didn't take you the first one to say something good message about it. But Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, so yeah. I ain't know about it. Because yeah, I saw, time. I saw it, on, I saw it on on on, on Twitter from well, X formerly known as Twitter. It came across my my screen. Yeah, that shit is Twitter. And I was, yeah, it's for Twitter. us, yeah, for us, next two generation. That shit is X. Yeah, but I saw it come across my screen. And I just was like, yo, this is gonna be crazy. And I didn't know when I said it's gonna be crazy. I didn't know it was gonna be as crazy as it was. Um. The, did any of y'all think it was like that bad? No, I did not. Like, I, I didn't, knew it was. I bad, knew it was bad, but yeah, I didn't think it was that bad. All right, like, wait. Let's start from the very beginning. First episode. Yeah. Okay. So first episode, pretty much, it, it highlighted Dan Snyder and the all that the first all that cast um, and the and the like. Yeah, the. The good golden years good, of good, yeah. Nickelodeon, we all remember. Yeah, um, that was around the time. Shows. Guts and um, yeah. what's the other show with the the fat face Asian Asian nigga? What's the who? The Stonewall face nigga? Oh, oh, Legends yeah. of the Hidden Temple and that shit. That was my yeah. shit. That was my shit too. That's how I learned history. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. That's how I learned <laughs> all my history shit. Real rat, like <laughs> it was history crushes like a motherfucker on that uh, show. What else was like Rugrats? Fucking that was prom rug right here. Yeah, right? Keenan and Kel. Just, no, Keenan and Kel didn't start yet. But that was later. Rocket that was later. Power. Rocket, first cartoons. Rocket Power was that was Rock Power was later. Yeah, Rock Power was, was later. later. Yeah. A lot of that shit was later. That was yeah. just like we were just getting into like the golden yeah. era of like yeah. kid shows. Yeah, I think Rugrats is the oldest out of the cartoons that was on there. It but turns out like kid shows. There wasn't nothing like what Nickelodeon was doing. Yeah, um, like Nickelodeon had like they foot on niggas' necks. Like, yeah, literally. All because, Basically. all because of not even that. They also made that transition from having cartoons to actual like kid shows, kid shows like kid sitcom shows, and kid, that's kids, what kids, and that's what Dan Snyder brought to the table. Yep, yeah, they definitely yeah. separate themselves from Disney and um, Cartoon Network. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Disney had to play catch up. Yeah, like yeah. without that, you probably wouldn't have got like. Uh, Hannah Montana on Disney and that's so yeah. Yeah. Even as far like as them like having their own award show, that was yeah, like yeah that was like something we've like. never seen before. 
Um, full of audience, full of kids too. Yeah. If you look, you don't see a adult in the There's audience. No, yeah, no, I'm not gonna kids. lie. Like yeah. with all that and knowing, like what we was, found out, yeah. It, all that shit just seems so fucking dark to me. Yeah. Like, it's hard for me, like, to think about all that shit with, like, a... Clear head. A genuine, like, smile on my face, yeah. knowing, like, all the shit that was going on, all the pos- like, the racist shit that was going on. Oh, and- man. So it's safe to say all of our childhood memories are ruined. Of the um, I mean, the older we get, it's, like, yeah. the more ruined they get over time, honestly, yeah. at um, this point, unfortunately. And it's crazy because there is, like, if you watch a lot of, like, a lot of shit from back in the day, mm. back in the day, mm. there are, like... Jokes that are made for adults. Yeah. A but lot. Then, a lot then the shit they was doing was like Kid some whole other shit. Yeah. Like, like you yeah. are strike, right? It's yeah. like Oh hell yeah. A grown ass man, you know you like you you peep the joke. Like, yeah, yeah. But it was it it, it didn't cross like, a line yeah. though. Yeah, it didn't cross it was, a line. It was safe adult joke. Yeah. Anytime you doing basically quote unquote Come fuck, shot jokes. Yeah, that's like Come on, bro. Yeah, that's so, crazy. And then like, uh, crazy. I didn't, clips. I didn't didn't notice like that's as a kid that's I did. What it was doing, but I just thought if you go back watch now and put snot on, like you just sneeze and you that you know kids nasty. We you sneeze, you don't cover your mouth, you just see snot flying on people and stuff. But seeing that skit again, it was just like knowing what it represents. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, it's like yeah, yeah that's that's yo the clip of uh, Ariana Grande. Yo. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> with the water bottle. Yeah. yeah. Trying to that, yeah, that yeah, was that disturbing. Was wild, yeah, that was. And yeah. the crazy part is, they knew that shit was wrong. It just that, like that nigga had so much power, they were just scared to say something, bro. Fucking the nigga Lloyd didn't care because the nigga was bringing in bank. Oh my god, the money he was bringing in was fucking crazy. Money so is power. Just, yeah, yeah. So you just kept kind of, kind of kept letting him do whatever, and it just was like, you know, care. like some of the stories that he like that that you know that the. the the ladies and stuff was telling us about the being a story writer. For I was going to say, down to, the, down to the staff. Yeah, yeah the staff. That was from the beginning. Yeah. Beyond the freaky shit, the fact that he had so much power to where he made two people work sure. off one salary. Like, yeah, that's, yeah. that's insane. You couldn't, you couldn't dare do no shit like that now, bro. Like, no. Listen, no, it's, what? It's, yeah. it's crazy because it's just like, she's like, you know, that's my dream job. So, yeah, I don't mind it. But it's just like, you didn't like. like also your back think, is against the wall at that point. Yeah, like. Nah, you know what's worse? The the scene she was talking about, he asked, like they was, I think once somebody was talking about their high school, and he was like bend over and act like act like being sonomized and tell yeah. that story. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah by the writers. Yeah, yeah, like for you to like, that's just insane. It's like, to come me. on, come on, it's gonna be so funny. Did it? Like, and it was an open secret. People, pe- everybody that worked there knew how that shit was, and she couldn't even talk about it. Yeah, that's how bad it was. So either the execs knew and didn't care, or they were just like, fuck it. You know, he's bringing in the bread. Like, that That first episode was just like, oh, shit. Like, some of the stuff that the All That cast was, uh, what's her name, Katrina? But she was like, how when she started to get older and stuff, how, like, they called her parents. was like, yeah, Katrina's getting a little too fat or something like that. And then it was like, um, she you can't, you, yeah, yeah, she was like, you can't, you can, she can't be fat because we already got a fat one. And it's just like, yo, that's fucking crazy. And then it's like, like she said, she hit puberty and now she looked like a woman. Now she, she gets phased out. And then, you know, and then you got to talk about the the little fetus joint with the black kid and you had to put him in an all black suit. And then he was like, he, he said, somebody said that his, his suits would be charcoal or something like that. Yeah. Like that's fucking insane. It was nasty all around the yeah. board. Like, you know what's really telling? But the people that they didn't have on the show. Because in my mind, it's like, what you went through was so terrible. You don't even want to revisit that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because I'm, I was looking for certain people. Yeah, and then pop up, and they just wasn't there. Yeah, and yeah, it made it me wonder, like, damn, like, what but did you experience? Some people don't want to live that shit, man. Yeah. So, I like, in my mind, it's like it, it's definitely way worse than what they showed us. Like, just imagine, yeah. like, you're a kid. Like that, that changes your whole trajectory in life. Yeah, Fact. it changes your outlet on like how you deal with people, how you see the world. Like, even, even back to the kid, like you said, with the uh, the whole little fetus joke, he did yeah. the joke with the peanut butter. Oh yeah, and they put a peanut butter on him, and, and then had was, dogs come out. The, the, yeah, with the peanut butter. Was, you like, can hear him vividly saying, "I don't like this. This is like, I don't like what this. what kind of that's that's the John that that's what was what was it called? Uh, the dare John. I can't the dare remember. Uh, something. Uh, on air, on air, dare. Kids Fear Factor. Yeah, right. Kids Fear Factor. She was like, it was a scorpion doing one, and it's just a whole bunch of shit. And I'm just like, the crazy thing is, I like. 
I think I kind of pushed that to the back of my mind because, like, I as I started to see it, I'm like, yo, I'm starting to remember this show a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, I like, I feel like I forgot I about it. I don't remember that Fear Factor thing. Like, it's not, it's not fully vivid. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's not fully like where I'm like, oh, I remember that. But I, I like, I kind of, yeah, it's so something, especially the peanut butter one. Like, the peanut yeah. butter one is feel like it was. Like I've seen it before, but some of the stuff was like really early. Can you? I think we still. It was in the years where we were still like young. We were babies. Yeah, Yeah, we weren't. Yeah, so it's just like. But usually, I got a good memory. Remember certain things, but just for like something like that, like I feel like I just pushed it away, and it just like it just was there. It's like I I was saying off the off the joint. I think this also kind of hurt a little bit more because the simple fact of like I was saying like I wanted to be like a child actor and child stars and stuff like just like I'm sure a lot of people kind of wanted to like man was saying earlier it was like you know yeah that change that could change your whole entire life and shit like who wouldn't want it the money and the fame and stuff and I'm just like after watching it I, I'm happy because I know for a fact my mom would have burnt fucking Nickelodeon down to the fucking ground and, and that's one she, she did, did it with a smile on her face too and, and that's one thing I do like about his mom his mom, she was that one mom that was like drawing. She was known for drawing on set. They said, "Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, she, that one she, mom, yeah. yeah." She wasn't with but the shit. Still, like, she felt like she was like it was something she liked. Her, it was yeah. still like cuffs on her wrist because she she still felt like she could only do but so much because yeah, because she, she didn't want to ruin his career. His career. Yeah. It's like and then then they, then he said that they kind of like broke once he got uh, kicked off the show. They kind of like broke their relationship or something like that. Him and his mom. I mean, he's a kid, like. His perspective is my mom got me kicked off the show. Yeah. Like he don't, you understand? Like they're dealing with these as kids, a lot of pressure. Yeah, I'm pretty you sure. I'm pretty sure he get it now. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Like think of you being like ten or twelve and you're, on bring, his, on you're you bring in the big chicken, bro. Yeah, like yeah. you, you the reason why the lights still on. Can you heard yeah. me say he like I'm doing this to get yeah. us off the hood. That's what I'm like, saying. Like that shit, that shit is crazy to put a lot of pressure on the kid, and they they treat them like shit. Like they didn't treat them like kids. Yeah. Even with the like. Them making them work overtime. Yeah, like you going against like, nigga. That's child laws. Like yeah. going, like you like willingly going against the law. Like did they say they only went to school two like, hours, three, two hours, or two three hours a day or something like that? Like that's insane. Like I man, that's the crazy part is this. This that's only like the fucking first episode. That's the crazy part. Like we we talk. That's like what fifteen percent of the first episode that. About it, it just was, it a was lot of so it was much shit about yeah. him and his rise and and that and then like uh, uh I think I'm, I'm uh, Amanda Bynes yeah and like, like that was like the first like first big 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 hit yeah. and then once that happened they that's just gave this nigga the keys to the castle yeah. and say whatever yeah. do whatever you want it, it make you realize oh that's why Amanda Bynes was going crazy a yeah. little bit because mm-hmm. she's been like so traumatized like I mean hasn't has that always been like the thing with child actors. They get older and they usually get it like is. some type of addiction or like yeah. their life go well, like if it, it happens to a lot like, of them, there's yeah, a reason to, for yeah. it. I find it crazy that she was like um found at the Laugh Factory at such a young age. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah that, that was, was an interesting that fact. That was very yeah. impressive. Yo, like and sh- the way she was on stage as a child is how she was throughout her whole career. Yeah. Like yeah. She, she was the way she was she born, had the, she that's had, how she was. She had the world literally in her hands, yo. Like yeah, she, she had the best show out she, of everybody. Yeah, she had the world in her hands. Even that shit was weird. Like, uh, one of her characters called Taint. Yeah, Penelope like, Taint. Yeah, I like, you know, I like my her. whole entire life. And for him to say, show, hey, don't, was Tate. don't tell them what that really means. Yeah. I'm like, you, you, like, you know you doing disgusting ass shit. Like, you just know people can't say nothing to you. Mm-mm. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't get into, get into her story more with, 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 with uh, him and her. <sighs> That they probably can only say but so much. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, she, that, she, that yeah. probably also. Yeah, she probably didn't want to. Yeah, they they got it to it. That would require. That would require to bring her to tell her story, and I'm pretty. I sure didn't. She wasn't. I didn't know that she was trying to get um, emancipated from her parents, and that yeah. he was involved with that. Yeah, I didn't that, know that, and that didn't seem weird to nobody. It's so crazy how, like, you go when you watch like all four episodes, how they just attach themselves. To one of the kids, basically, mm-hmm. yep, and separate. They always they separate them from their parents. Mm-hmm. It's like a grooming process. It's it's, it's part of the process. Yeah. It's part of the process, but every so, 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 but everybody's weirdos. seen it. It's, it's like it's crazy to me when you see this happening in real time every day, mm-hmm. but yet no one didn't say anything or they felt like they, they couldn't, couldn't say anything. It's yeah. wild when, as a parent, like you can't really like. Do nothing, but 
I don't I don't get that because I'm going to do something. But for them, they felt like they couldn't do nothing because she was like a 16 year old, and also she was like you say, had the make, making that big piece yeah. of chicken. Yeah, she and was bringing the money in, and, like and kind of what you said earlier, like it's kind of like. Yeah, you want to tell them the fuck out of here, but at the same time, you don't want to destroy any possible career they have. In the and mm-hmm. also, they they said her dad kind of like groomed her for that. Like, yeah, the way he brought her up, she was like, you know, yeah, she, ticket, mm-hmm. yeah, that's, she laugh which is right also kind of like, nasty. Yeah, that's also that's also a little weird. Yeah, that, that's not like we usually want like those parents try to live through their kids. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I couldn't make it at this, so now I'm gonna make sure my kid does this. Was right? that was that her situation though? Amanda Bonds? I mean, what? it's what I remember. They said like him and Dan like worked really close together to molding her career. Mm. So like they was probably very particular in like how she looked on camera and like they planned everything in terms of like how her career worked out. That's what I don't think he lived through her, but he saw her he saw potential, potential yeah. and stardom at a very yeah. young age. Oh and yeah, he, and then he like, dove into it. And let's be honest, if your kid's going on that lifestyle, who who you gonna trust more with your kid? Like some random manager or yourself? That's still your kid. Like you wanna be there. Mm-hmm. All right, it just, so. it just cra- it's just crazy when you think about it, because all the like all the, the the people, well not all the people, but the, the three gentlemen that were like the the key cogs in this whole thing of making everything dark beside well the three, three other I meant the other three that that made all this kind of like even darker because Dan Snyder is like the biggest of them all. Well, oh, oh no, that, fuck those guys. Yeah, so you got you know the one that had the child, you know, pornography and all the other shit on. He got so six he years. Got six years. Some of this shit out. <sighs> But I hate to do this, but I be like looking at the parents like it's a lot of shit's yeah, on them. I feel yeah, like, like, like what the, the fuck are y'all doing? That, like you letting your daughter email a grown ass man, Very being weird. alone with them, Very weird. But I don't like. Why does it? First of all, why does an eight year old even have a a Gmail? Like, yeah, that's probably like they child actor. Like I said, they treat they treated them like adults, bro. They didn't treat them like kids. Uh, uh, Granted, do I think it's appropriate for a kid to be emailing a grown adult? No. no. Like, email, the parent. email the parent. Yeah. Email the parent. Email the parent. Nothing happened. And it was, everything was like still weird. Golden. Still, it's still weird. weird for yeah. you to like. So look, the, the, so look, the, the first John that he sent after everything, you know, he she was on set and all that. Mm. And she was like, Mom, he sent me an email. I would have read it and be like, All right, cool. That was nice. I appreciate it. All right. After it was more, what what the fuck is going on? Like you you said, it was we had a good time. It was cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there any jobs lined up, nigga? If not, why are you hitting my kid up? Like I would have intervened then and there. Like yeah, that was yeah. Well, no. The thing with those niggas did, they made them parents trust them. Mm-hmm. Like before all this shit happened, a lot of the parents were like, oh, he's a nice guy, he's charming, bro, he's man. all that. And Yo. not to like and he put he, them guys on like give them guys any credit, but. That's shit kind of genius how they handle. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. they, as a, they, they, as a kid, I don't tr- as a dad, I don't trust nobody with my kids. Like, should not not, not like that. Should. Like yeah, not like that. Not Hell like no. that. No. Not 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 like that. Like no. Hearing all that shit, like him having uh the the ziploc bags and like tokens and shit like that. I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like that shit. Is Man, then you just in the pick with your pipe out. Like you ain't yeah, even like, lead up to it. You like, just yeah, straight. Uh, just, yeah, I was like, thinking that you. you Beating off like what the fuck like so this shit is fucking ridiculous. That shit's disgusting, bro. And it's even it's even worse because like you said, it it goes back to like everybody that's on set and like some of the staff and stuff like that. When it gets to the it gets to the part the, to the point of where they is asking like none of this shit happened to like some like the kids that's on that's on our sets, right? Like that, remember the director that that quit or he left or something like that. He got fired. I yeah, the one everybody, I forget his name. Yeah, the one everybody fucked with. Yeah, yeah. The one that everybody fucked with. He's Probably like, one of the good ones. Yeah, they was like when he left, everything changed even worse because now Dan is getting is is being worse. Yeah, they say he's he the only worse. one who used to actually fight for them. Yeah, like he got he got worse, and it's just like that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm like, surprised no one swung on this nigga. Like, bro. I, mean, I like, can't I do saying, it, bro. Like, like I said, like everybody back was kind of against the wall because he was bringing he was bringing you and your your child. What you gonna do money, when like you 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 living a certain lifestyle? Like you don't want to go backwards. 
I mean, that is you know the money is good. You and you know your child is happy and well, that's like, you know I, you don't have kids, but it's I'm I'm assuming it's kind of hard to snatch your child's happiness from them, even though you know it's for the better good. See what I'm saying? My child getting touched, bro. No, not even just touch. I'm just saying, like the situation, before, just like for all the freaky shit. Still, like you, like you know, it's kind of weird for like your child to email a grown ass nigga, but you know at the same time your child is a child star making her own money. She can pay for her own college, and she, she's just like on, she's living at the top of a mountain. But you know, this shit's still kind of weird. Do you really want to snatch that from your child? You asking the wrong person. I'm about to say, y'all see his face right now? <laughs> I'm a, this man. I'm about to put you like you this. You see where I'm going like, with it? Like, no, you, no, I see what you're no, going. It's not, yeah, but, but with certain things, it's Dude. it's not about you. When you get older, you'll get the bigger picture. Now that I'm older, with certain things, I get why mom did what she did. Mm-hmm. You get the bigger picture. You get mm-hmm. why she did overtime instead of coming to certain events. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you might end up like in the same situation as Amanda Bonds. Dude. Where she don't want to fuck with her family. She want to divorce the motherfucker. That's fine. Like, That's fine. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to slippery slope. I, um, the, I feel like that also kid. comes from where you have certain relationships and talks with your kids. Like when my mom did do certain shit, we had talks to where I knew what she did was for a reason. <sighs> you, I just know the situation I had with my parents where they was telling me some certain shit and I didn't want to hear it. And then I got old and I was like, damn. Yeah. This one, yeah. Mom Deuce was talking about. Yeah. But this is That's when the I'm parent saying. pulls her over like. Don't nigga, you a kid. That yeah. At that time, I didn't want to hear it. Of course. Yeah, you you not, nigga. You on a Nickelodeon, like you you a and star. I, and I can only the, understand that, that, like the station of for kids. Like, that's what I'm saying, a like station for yeah, kids. Yeah, you're gonna be pissed off, but it's not your job as a parent to be friends with your kids at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. no, but like fuck what they what they want. It's not what they want. It's what best for them. And I'm pretty sure you if you if you got a daughter and. They they doing shots and like a cum shot on your daughter's face. You you not letting that rock, bro. Okay, I'm on fucking. Look, that's what I'm, I'm saying? Like that shit. Yeah, like, what the fuck was, was that? Them niggas was so sneaky with it. You didn't even realize dude, what it was. At you the time. dude, every adult knew what it was. Fucking when look, all right, so look, 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 look. Since we since we on kids and adults, hmm. let's fast forward. Let's go to Drake. <sighs> His dad fall from the entire time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go yeah. to Drake. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I had to I had to turn that joint off, bro. Let's go to his, his yeah, that was the hardest was, one. It was, the, hard, was, the, hardest one, it was the hardest one. That was the hardest one. And what's crazy is I yeah. a lot of us never knew. No. Never knew. He was like never. In the in the court case, he was never he was, he was known as John Doe until until the documentary because he Could you peep the never. old head, the ball head, old head? Yeah. When he was talking about yeah, he it, was like, like, yeah, that's why that's the show. That's how I just said that's the director that left. Talking about what? Yeah, it was on our show? He was like, mm-hmm. it was on one of our shows. Yeah, he was like, that's, and that's when Drake and walked all in. That, and all that shit happened before the fucking the show. Drake and Josh show. Yeah. So he still went on to and be did his a, thing. Yo, yeah. to be a successful actor he was, as a child. He was, he was troubled. The traumatized. Time. But he still did the biggest show of his fucking life, the yeah. Drake and Josh show. That was yeah. the biggest show of his career. But before that, he had all this shit going on. And so, But yeah. back to what he had going on. His dad also was a parent who realized from a very young age he had a child who was a star. Mm-hmm. And he fed into it. He took him to, you know, auditions and shows and all that shit. He said after school, they would leave and go to do auditions. auditions. Yeah. Until 10.30 at night. Yeah. And then go home, do it all over again the next day. But it's not like, I don't think it was like overbearing in a sense, though. Yeah. He, like, w- yeah he was just doing really what his child wanted to do. Because he yeah. said he loved it. Yeah. yeah. And then it's just like, you know, you get linked up with, you know, the person that wants to do it and Dan Snyder and all this other stuff. And. And with, him, and, and, and with him, it wasn't even Dan Snyder. It was the Pickle the, uh, the coordinator. The, Pickle um, Boy. Yeah. Pickle Man. Pickle Pickle what the fuck his name you was? You know what's crazy Brian, about Brian that? Peck. The pop peeped that shit. From weird, the beginning. Really. Like, yeah. The pop and the, um, his his girlfriend's mom. Yeah. They all peeped that shit. But even, like, when they, Wait, like, the when they, when they went to when they went to his crib, right? I was about to say, let's and go back to episode two. The, the, the clown picture? The clown the picture. picture that was signed by John Lacey. Yeah, John Lacey. Guy Bro, John what Gacy in, and shit. Why? There is no reason you should be pen pal with a serial killer. And you with want a kids. child show. Mm-hmm. Of kids. Mm-hmm. You work with kids. You work with kids. How, how killer, do that like, not get back to, like, Nickelodeon? They showed, they showed, then the, the one of them showed, so the parent, like, yo, like, y'all see, like, this is a little weird. And then especially when he started showing the, the, the letters and stuff, he's like, okay, y'all got to come see this. And all the parents just that's like, like uh, 
Okay. Me writing AR Ab at 12 years old. What the fuck am I writing AR Ab for? I admire you and all this other shit. Like, and you grow to be a Coke dealer. Like, yeah, yeah, like that. Whoa, bro. Come on. <laughs> hold on. Time out. What you doing, bro? Like, But no, I don't sell Coke. Like, that's. That's but, so but, but what was crazy with that was though It was at a, at a at a party he had in his career right yeah. Yeah. Birthday and, party and right And when people came in the room Youngbo was like yo look at this picture And he yeah. was like He like invited the people to like look at the picture he And be like yo yeah. Oh I got envelopes of uh, that We pen like, pals yeah. yeah That's my like, man Buy his nightstand Buy his nightstand Nigga red flag That's not a red flag Like this this didn't go off and say Okay something ain't fucking right here I couldn't imagine nigga writing Jeffrey Dahmer Like this is my dog Like I couldn't imagine that bro Like what do you mean Like Nice bro and it was like, like Jeffrey you know, Dahmer, like you know, the nigga the, that like was eating people, like that nigga, like the motherfucker that. Oh, like oh, bro, yeah. coming home. Oh, that, 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 that's fucked up. DJ, like, you know what's crazy? You know? Yeah. This yeah. Jeffrey, Dah- this Jeffrey Dahmer, not that, not other Jeffrey Dahmer. This Jeffrey Dahmer, right here. Yeah, that's, no, that's, yeah that's, y'all niggas tripping. That's different. You know what's like, really fucked up? Uh, that even with all that, that w- he manipulated Drake to basically tell his dad fuck out of here mm-hmm. and gave like basically his rights to his mom. And, his and, mom, and the dad said, "Don't let this nigga around our son alone." The like, dad alone. told the mom, and "Wait, do not do." So it. wait, before that, the dad peeped on set. He was like caressing him, like yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he peeped he was all doing that shit. Little yeah. shit, like hold up, y'all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, up. that shit fucked me up too. Who that's, else heart dropped when they seen Lee and Arthur DiCaprio? Nigga, I was sad and shit. I was not my man Leo, bro. I was like, ain't no fucking. I was about to lose it, yo. Not Leo, bro. You want a good one? Not, not the, not Leo, bro. Not the one from Wall Street. Yeah, not the. Nigga, for the bear, yo. I'm not fucking leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. Come on, bro. Like, damn, dog. Yo, if he would have popped up on that, I would have been done, yo. Yeah, that would have. Yeah, that would have. That's one of my favorite actors, bro. I was like, damn. Yeah, fucking. You legend. Nigga sniped Rose on Titanic, like facts, like <laughs> that nigga. Going back to going back, to, do <laughs> going back to the but, joint is just like it's it, it's fucking crazy because like even during the during the like the, the 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 his pickle his pickle boy segments and shit like that. It was a one video. That's a glory hole. The, yo, I was about to say That's that shit. That's what I'm saying. As an adult, you that know that. That was a fucking glory oh, hole. Oh, uh, Raymond? Yeah. yeah. Ray? He put like, the pickle through the... I was like, yo, it's a There's no way as an adult, you I'm, see that episode air, you like, yo, what the fuck is another this? Another thing, too, I'm not doing that. Like, bro, I'm not about to eat a pickle on camera for you, cuz. Like, and I'm a, I'm a already renowned, known actor. Like, yeah. what the fuck were you thinking, Ray? Like... I, Bro, so I don't even like it pickles. Just, it just, it just, <laughs> fuck out of here, freak ass nigga. Like I don't even like pickles. Like, like, like nigga. So <laughs> kinky as shit. Dude. It goes back to his Drake Drake Bell telling his her his dad telling her his mom, "Do not let this man around our son alone. Do not do it." And like you said, it's damn near strategic how they set this shit up because it was genius he, he found out that he found out that drake's drake's mom don't don't like to drive don't you know didn't really want to do anything pretty much besides staying in the house because of how far they lived and stuff so it's just like okay i'll take him i'll take him you love disneyland and you, you, you gotta Disney combine yeah. that like he isolated him from his dad yeah even with all that happened he told his dad that one time his dad like he's squashing that shit yeah and he lying said the nigga was stealing yep so was that all? Right. Once he got, once he got his dad out the way, and it then was, like they found out the nigga wasn't still and it was still like, he cool, he can go, boys. Yeah, like it's cool. So, you know how we we already know how the story went. All right, well, I don't really want to say it, but you no, know. we're going not not. All right, so what happened was Drake was in a nigga crib one night. Mm-hmm. This is another thing too. He was he was fifteen. Mm-hmm. Teenager. Teenager. Yo. Fifteen. He was a kid. Yeah. 15. Stayed the night, he was asleep, and he woke up to him doing whatever he was doing. And he felt like, since he was where he was at, you said his mom didn't like driving. Mm-hmm. This was also the, still the 90s, right? Yeah. Early 2000s, so he didn't have a cell phone yet, yeah. so he said he couldn't call his mom. He couldn't do nothing. He pretty he much was had trapped. To, yeah, he was trapped. He felt like he was trapped. So, pretty much he stayed there, and he was like, you know the, the guy. You know he pretty much was like, you know, I'm. I don't know what got into me. I'm sorry. You know, it never happened again. And he was like, it got it happened again. And it got worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm just like, how much more worse are we talking? Because he just kept saying worse. And I'm just like, bro, 
So Wait, when it, yeah, when they they asked they asked him what's the worst thing that he did, he was like, think of all the the vile and disgusting things you could do to someone as a sexual assault, and that's your answer. And my mind literally was like, nigga, yeah, like bruh. I, bro, I had I had. No words after that shit. So it got to the point. I took a break. Yeah, I, I, that's, I, yeah, that's why I turned yeah, off. I had to roll up. Yeah, I had to. I had to. I had to be like. I don't think right. I could have got high to that. Yeah, I, I was oh, like, I yeah, I, I, I had to. I had to take a seat back because I'm just like, all right, this is, this is getting a little, little deep. So when I, when I turned it back on, you know, that's when he started talking about how serious it kind of got to the point where now the guys calling him like, like that's his, like his, 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 his. his Man or something like that, like he's blowing up his phone. So even a fifteen year old and into this, right? After all that happened, Drake somehow, even though he's getting abused, still found himself to have a girlfriend. Yep, he yeah. had a great career. He had a yep, a great career. I think it was an actor and, yep. and, and a girlfriend and a musician, all this other stuff. Right, but as he has his girlfriend, the only one who notices that he's going through something is his girlfriend's mom. Shout out to her, yo. That's the only one, like shout out to her. You know, I, you know of course they not. No, not and and shout, this, out, and, shout out to her, yo. And this how like out of touch and how money brings power. Mm-hmm. He felt like Drake was at his girl crib chilling, and this man called his cell phone back him, to back to back, blowing back him to up. Back. He blowing didn't him. answer. I don't know how he got this lady number. He called the, the house. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. How the fuck he get the crib? How did he get that right. number, bro? The it's, landline. The, like, yo, the, the landline. Yeah, landline is insane, he bro. He called the house phone like back to back. Wired phones and shit. Like, this what this nigga at. Like, like yeah. back to back I know, back. I know what his girlfriend, I know what his girlfriend uh, mom name like, is. Back I know what they back. name is. Like, that's insane. And his girlfriend mom was like, pulled him to the side. I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, nothing. They just want to see me, you know, Drake. Still trying to keep it together. It's like, you know, they just want to know where I'm at and things like that. And, you know, after Drake asked, he was like, you know, I'm just going to stay here. You know, this isn't a third. And, you know, of course, he got, he's like, he, the guy got, he got mad. He's like, well, we set up all this stuff for you. We going to, you know, go to Disney World. Da, da, da. And it's just like, his Drake girlfriend, I was like, a 40 year old man calling your phone like this. What's really going on? I just your phone. You didn't call him out. Yeah, right. He didn't call, call my crib. House. Call like, house. Like, what is going on? You know, somebody call you like at this time of the night. Like, yeah. No, nah, bro. What the fuck is going yeah. on? Yeah, and she's like, she, she, she. Then she, she told uh, Drake. Mom was like, yeah, I think Drake needs to see somebody or something like that because something, something isn't right. And then eventually, it just over. He said one day it just kind of boiled over, and he just, it just all came out. Yeah. It just all came out and who was his name again? Who? Pedophile. Uh, Brian Peck. Brian Peck. Yeah. Brian Peck. I'm just saying, I just want to say on a record at 15, if Brian Peck would have tried me, I'd have fucked Brian Peck up. Like, <laughs> Motherfucker. Listen. Bro. Listen. I did I did I did ask myself that. Like it would have been, yeah, been a murder. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not trying to I'm, saying, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying I was going to yeah. Me at 15 and at nigga fi- tried me like that. Bro, yeah. at 15. It would have been murder. I would have something would have happened. Like I something would have happened. At 15. I'm gonna find a way to hurt. I'm gonna find a way to probably try to kill you if if I don't kill yeah, you. Yeah, you just tell your brother or somebody, or it's over. <laughs> I'm saying yeah, it's like, over. Like, like, like I mean, like, 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 <laughs> look, look. <laughs> but it's just like it's fucking crazy because this is this is the heartbreaking moment right here of this of uh, episode three is when Drake finally starts, you know. Getting in touch with his dad again, and he tells him, "He's like, did you, did you hear?" He's oh, like, wait, oh, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, no, you're going too fast. You're going too fast. Wait, wait. Before that, after all this nasty shit happened, it actually he he brought it out and then went to court. It oh, went that's... it went to court. He got arrested and all of that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. He got arrested and it went to court. And come to find, this nigga didn't do. He did jail time, but it was what like ninety days, sixteen like, months, sixteen months, and had the register. Had he had the register? Then was another show. We got and after that, and he, he got still another had a show. Job. He got another show on on the Disney Channel, and, and that's all. Niggas didn't do background checks, bro. And, and, uh, and uh, another thing Drake said too, what said all was, was he said that his side of the courtroom was full. Yep. And Drake's, own, Drake's only had like his, his family, his, his family, his family. That me was family. 
Just and his like shit the, was cool. the 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 writing to support for yeah he for had writing yeah, yeah. yeah I was like, like wow that's uh, it's insane to me and, and, and that just you know came what made it worse years later. you know what made it worse worse is the fact that every like most of the letters was like he would never do something he had to be tempted like yeah like, I was like, disgusted by that I shit was bro like, what what do you mean I was like I'm he tempted. was seduced I'm like what are you talking about like I wonder like, what he was telling them people. I don't know. Oh, remember the, remember about the one uh, one of the one of the ladies on the uh on the show that told Drake's dad like why he told him don't told him don't be homophobic because apparently Brian Peck was gay and things like that. Like don't don't yeah, be homophobic. Oh yeah, he's like why yeah. he touching my son? Like he's that. Like, oh, don't oh, be homophobic. That's, that's how he he's, is. He's gay. Yeah, he's gay. So don't be homophobic. Like what? Like that don't seem and that was weird. In the 90s. That was in the nineties. Well, you could be homophobic. Yeah, like, like not for sure. That don't seem that don't seem weird to you, girl. Yeah. No, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I get no, you, you saying, right. but like, yeah. but it's like you you. I was like that don't seem off, weird, wrong. Like something's like, like, why you, like no one should be like, touching you my kid. Like, like, person, like what the like. I barely want to be touched by another grown ass person that's you know like that, like, like especially like if I don't like you like that, like why are you touching me like that? So you don't like nothing don't seem wrong to you to do that to like to a child, even though, even though it's not your t- something's not right. Like you don't see that? What's what's going on here? Like so, I said, like the parents didn't want to take that opportunity from their kids. <laughs> man, listen, man, fuck that. Like it's for real, because now you see the, now the, you see what the, the end result is. Now they're fucking scarred for life. Yeah. Now I'm pretty sure them, they all regret it. Like, cause oh, remember, they brought up. They I'm don't. Sure they, they wish they would have Drake did something different. Drake, he fucking went to a spiral because he, of the shit that he was dealing with. Yeah, yeah and you he remember, was just remember, him just on the remember up, recently up. he just yeah. got into some got into the, trouble. I'm about to say the darker part of his Drake. Almost got down, yeah, he yeah. Kind of almost went down, down that yeah, almost went down that thing down that same line. But he was like, you know, that's oh yeah, he, yeah. The text messages, the inappropriate text messages. But he's just like, you know, he took accountability and said like, I. Did never they say he, he was talking to? No, they not going. They not going to do that. And what's crazy is with Drake, he also with him, um. Dan Schneider was actually like he sat in his corner. Yeah, like he was very supportive, and he I didn't write letters. He I saw him in a different light. Yeah. Like I feel that's, like that's another thing too. He did, he did people people see him in different lights. Like yeah. at one end, he's this you know supportive, supporter of nice guy. Then the other end, he's an asshole, perverted man with like yeah. massages and yeah. feet and cum shots on set. So yeah. it's weird as shit. I feel I feel like but that's, that's how them people are. I feel like that was the only like. Silver lighting moment for Dan Snyder in this documentary because when he went, uh, what's his name? Drake said, I don't blame Dan for that because he was even did de- like they said, what's his name? Brian Peck was already on, he was already a part of the like he didn't hire to do no kinky shit, don't yeah. He's he's he, on, he, playing footsies, cause. come on, bro. Come he on, playing bro. footsies, come on, bro. Talk about Nickelodeon, you want to play footsies, yeah, I'm shut up. the fuck up, Dan Snyder. He, so, Dan Snyder didn't fucking wow, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right, we're not gonna compare me to that freaky ass nigga. Uh, <laughs> my name, you, nigga. Like, fuck right, you, Snyder. Wow, so he <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. He didn't. He didn't. So apparently, Dan Dan Snyder did not hire Brian Peck. Like he was already a part of this the staff and all this other stuff. So he didn't know his name, Brian Peck. Like so, (laughs) (laughs) you know. Stop. (laughs) His name, Brian Peck. (laughs) I cannot. That just be. This is supposed to be the serious part, man. But uh, yeah. stand this nigga sometimes. Yeah. Yo, you need PR training, yo. For real, because this is ridiculous. That's his name. I ain't name him. We know that nigga. Like, I just, but I just thought of it. A point. Did you y'all get my point? So training, go ahead. The, the silver lining, apparently, that was like one of the silver lining moments, quote unquote, for Dan Snyder. If you want to be honest, I, I feel like that's the only thing he. Didn't do saying that he's not a total piece of shit. Yeah, maybe that he's not a total piece of shit, but like I mean, 95%. technically, yeah, like that five percent of him might have saved the fact that he didn't hire that dude. So, but he they, hired the other motherfuckers they, uh, that was child molesters, but he just didn't hire that child molester. That's crazy. crazy. That's crazy to say when you think about it. I hired, I hired the other two child molesters, but I ain't hired that child molester. That's fucking that. Yeah, you don't think it's crazy back then. Like they didn't have no 
type of system. Yeah, no. They had no type of system. They had no they, background checks. They just hire motherfuckers. They were just doing whatever. Yeah. And oh, even been, after two people got caught, they just kept that shit going. Mm-hmm. Like, the, I fact, the fact that they got another job is crazy. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Hollywood, bro. I, I, unfortunately, like, I don't. Like, Disney. We've been writers, told about writers shit. are that scarce that you can't find another writer. Like, what the fuck? I don't. Was he a writer? No, he no, was a dying writer. Coach. Whatever the fuck he was. But, like, it's just. It's just. I, I don't know, bro. Like, it, I, I can't. I can't really explain it. Yeah. Mm. And I ain't gonna lie because he was a at that point he was a registered sex offender mm-hmm. like he like he had that paperwork that you he had the paperwork to back up that he's a terrible human being. Mm-hmm. Disney said, just, "Just come over here and, and work on Zach and Cody." Yeah, I wasn't gonna say the name of the show. I was gonna let them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but, fine. Yeah, that, that potato that squeezing the <sighs> that was nasty work, bro. That it's was, so many Johns. Like it's so many. The squirting of the packet. So many. The the, the, John, the sugar John. The nose. The sugar John was disgusting, yo. When I saw the yeah it, it, it's when you look back as an adult and you see like this shit ain't this shit ain't right. It made my it made like just my whole like body like just turn like everything you know they just say your stomach turn and shit like that it was more than just my stomach that was turning it was just like everything and this nigga Dan just just would just call random women to massage him on set yeah that's weird then one of the one of the writers they then they she said you couldn't she couldn't go to the dog they couldn't go to the bathroom. Yeah, if they you did to, anything, yeah. take a break too long. Yeah. One, then one person, I don't know. She got fired a, because she had she had a few people over one night and went to a concert for like two days. Like it, she saw she was off for like two days. I think out of like seven years, and they fired her for it. No, nah, what's I can't remember. I think it was a child actor. Uh, their mom passed during one of them. Oh, Maybe Jeanette a, McCurdy. Yeah, their mom passed. I think she took like a, it, a it, day or two off. Yeah, it came she got right upset back. about that. Yeah, and she came when she came back. Everybody How was you, like this. For real, for real, if it wasn't for her and her releasing that book, Dan Snyder might still be working at Nickelodeon. Like they was already saying stuff about Dan Snyder, um, and they had banned him. They had banned him from the set. But the Jeanette McCurdy thing was like the it was the that first was the straw that nah that got him out. Yeah, it was, that was the straw. Oh, the Me Too movement was the straw. The who? The the Me Too movement was the straw. Well, yeah, like, that was that, like so, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, the no, first sure. thing that said yeah. what the fuck is going on in Nickelodeon, yeah, and then yeah. Me Too, and then. All that happened. But I'm saying like all if, the if it was, that's what I'm saying. But if it wasn't for her, yeah, she definitely was the first. Yeah, like if it wasn't for her, that's what you know, because they had already got him off. Like they had already banned him from being on set, and then once she, I yeah, thought, then it, I'm then, getting, then, I'm mixing, I'm getting my timeline mixed up now. Yeah, I think I think he was banned off set after. I thought it was the I thought the Me Too movement would got him no, banned because even when the was, book no, if it was something before that that got him banned, I feel like. Cause All he didn't right. get fired. Yeah. Something got the nigga banned. They just said, yeah. "Nigga, you can't be around kids." Yeah, it was. Yeah, they was like, "You can't be around." He was no still more. on the show. He just he couldn't be, be there, there physically. Yeah, he couldn't be there physically. Which which yeah. tells you that they didn't care. They just worried about the bottom line, the money. Yeah. And then once that shit was the, you know, like I said, the book. And Keep all in mind, like, this yeah, is this is after like he been investigated like two or three times yeah. by Nickelodeon. Like this is like 2015 now, and after he done had a, it uh, wasn't that long ago. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy when like I was say, Carly was not that long ago. I Carly was not that long ago, so it's just like, bro, like even some of the stuff on that show was fucking wild. The, the fucking, feet shit, the feet shit. Nobody, like, it's kind of crazy that we didn't realize that but the you, Nickelodeon they, logo you, was you, a like, fucking like, foot. You don't know what you don't know. Yeah, like, if you don't know like what that kid. shit really represents. It looks thinking, like you're not thinking sexual. Like yeah. you're not, you're a kid. You're not it's thinking like, like a foot in the mouth don't look like nothing but a foot in the mouth when you. Like, it, it look, it's funny. Like why are you putting your foot in your mouth? It's like, weird. Like like it's like weird and like, stupid shit. It's weird like, stupid shit. Like and, like, and that's like, what they, it was. Play, that's why a lot of that shit for me. Like I just go back to the parents. Like at the end of the day, like their Y'all's, career ain't yeah. worth their soul. Yeah, it's not. It's not worth all the damage like mm-hmm. they had to go through. Mm-hmm. And and that's why I was like when you use questions like, well, you don't want to take that from them, like. I kind of, I would, because all right, you you might be a child star for what six years. Yeah. Eventually, you're gonna grow up and yeah. he's gonna kick you to the curve. Yeah. Except once you uh, one actor, Katrina, puberty, yeah, Katrina, it yeah. was a wreck. Like, like after that, like you you're scarred for life because of that. Like that's, and then I felt yo, I felt crazy when the dad was like, "I'm glad it wasn't you." Yeah, oh, yo, yeah, yo, yo like my heart time, time, bro. Yeah. old time. Was just Hope time. heart broke like a motherfucker when he said that, and it was just like, damn. Like Drake then Drake team and say, 
Yeah, he didn't want to say nothing because like time, he was just yeah. reconnecting with his dad. Yeah, I mean, that hurt him a lot too. Felt elated, like money is out of pocket. I don't like get this nigga. <laughs> I didn't say. Go ahead, man. <laughs> it just like he felt his dad felt elated at the at the time. His dad felt what? Elated. Okay. <laughs> money, you killing me? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know. You. Don't, I don't know elated. <laughs> <laughs> relieved is another word the way to say okay. relieved. I you say yeah. ejaculated. Oh, same, yo, same meaning. Yo, stop. What? Stop. I didn't say. Stop. That's your friend. I didn't say nothing. So, <laughs> she uh, said ejaculated. I said elated. That's your friend. That's your son. So, I ain't his son. Pretty much. I got kids. I don't got kids. Your granddad. All right. So, pretty much what, what, I'm, what I'm saying was it's just the fact that he felt relieved. Like that wasn't him, and it found out. It was. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, man. Drake's dead. Yeah, man, when man. Drake I'm called not, his dad, it was like Drake they finally got him. Dad, yeah. oh. and he was like, "I knew yeah. it," but Drake didn't want to tell, tell him that yeah. he's the one that, yeah, you know, that it was. God. So, yeah, that was Nickelodeon, man. So, question: How much did that ruin your childhood? One to ten, ten being that shit gone forever. Yeah. <laughs> I might still got like fifteen percent left. The childhood. I just feel bad for like everybody that like. Had to go through this shit because I know my situation. You live like yeah. yeah. I gotta live with that shit forever, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel bad, but like I know what they're going through. I hold yeah. like when I think about this shit. I keep looking at the parents, yo. <laughs> Y'all saw what Just Jordan said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen your your your. your uh, I thought your I, I thought it was a little too early, but I understand what he was saying. Yeah, <laughs> he said it got canceled because like, I was. Uh, it yeah. just got it, it it's just, scared, just Jordan. Yo. It's just, oh, he still, is he still active, yo? Like he's still a comedian? I don't, I don't know. I guess so. Probably. But speaking of speaking of like, like other is. shows, you know, uh, what's the name? Nathan Kress from That's the Classified. He has something to say. Hold like, up. Jokes I just, shit. It just, I just, yo, I just realized. What? That was the manager in Blood Burger. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Dan Snyder. Dan Snyder. Really, bro? Yeah, I yo, I, yo, I ain't gonna lie, so I did connect the dots. Fuck it, so, I did connect so, the dots, so bro. You know what's crazy? Pickle Boy was. In I that never too. knew Dan the, Snyder as being the person who made Nickelodeon until I saw the doc. I knew him as an actor. I knew him from like Good Burger and all that. Mm. And he was man, on all that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah he created all, all, that. Yeah. all the time. Remember, bro. remember they said the Ken and Kel show. Yeah. I don't know all that shit. He implemented himself. I always saw him as an actor. I never saw. I never knew he was like an actual creator. I thought he was an actor. My whole life, not until I saw the documentary. No bullshit. I just re- like, no bullshit. Just now in this I'm moment, I realized he was the nigga in Good Burger. You know yeah. the, the dude, the dude that slammed the uh, slammed the, the the burger that Ed gave him that had, had no meat patty in the middle and stuff like that. The one that got mad. That was the. That was oh, the, you say you want a burger with nothing on it? Yeah, a plain burger. Or something? Yeah, you know that was pickle. Boy. Oh, that's pickle boy. Wow, that's crazy. damn. Well, that movie's ruined. <laughs> I like Good Burger. I, that's I, a, I, <laughs> I can't watch it now. Damn. It's fucked up. Fucked up. Oh, the special sauce. <laughs> yo, I'm so tired of this nigga. Come on, nigga. Come on, bro. I'm so tired of this nigga, bro. What's obvious now that I'm older? Come on, bro. What special sauce? It ain't Big Mac. Yes, it was, bro. It was Big no. Mac sauce, bro. No, that... What's that Chick-fil-A sauce? All right. It was Polynesian sauce, bro. <laughs> it's Dan Schneider. <laughs> I had no serious conversation with this nigga, yo. Dan the Sniper. <laughs> Stop, yo. You can't cancel, yo. I told you. I told you. They're going to scratch our show for us. This is his name. All right, yo. But um, just real quick, uh, before we get to the more lighter documentary. Can I go pee first? Yes, go pee. Yeah, go ahead. Go pee right now. So we can't like so I can finish so I can finish this part. Finish the joint, we'll stop start another joint. Pause real quick, yo. No, I'm gonna stop (laughs) hold up. So let me just let me just say (laughs) in this joint. So Nathan Cress fucking made made a joke about fucking um about the Drake Bell episode and shit like that. Who? Who was that? Nasdy classified school survivor guy. Who? Who? Nasdy classified school survivor guy. What the fuck is that? It sounds familiar, but I don't I ain't watch it. I, I, I heard of it. But I, I never yeah, watched it. I never what, watched it though. What is it called? Always skip. There's the classified school survivor guy. Pretty much, pretty much, is a, it was a show about how to survive school, how to survive high school and shit like that. 
What a, come on, what channel come on? It was on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon nigga. It was a damn what? Nez Declassified <laughs> yeah, School Survivor Guide. You said that's too many words. It sound nasty, his race. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's too many words. I t- to listen. The proof in the pudding, nigga. You to see? <laughs> it was a Dan Snyder show. Nasty too. Survivor I know, I know, I know, Guide. All Dan so hey, once SpongeBob starts sniping Sandy, I was done with it. I'll crack it a fuck it. <laughs> Pretty much. So. Pretty much, he made a joke about. Yo, shit. do you think that's why they got like five shows in rotation now on Nickelodeon? Pretty much, because they ain't got there's no that. shows on Nickelodeon. Bro. They just can't. They just canceled. They just canceled another. Sh- they just canceled another show that was pretty good. Apparently, uh, fuck the part. Um, they just put the old shows up. No Jones was still. What's the name of the fucking, numbers up? What's the name of that fuck? Oh, that girl. Yo, Lele. we always like say now it's no shows for kids in this generation. Is yeah. that is that it, why? It might be. It might be dancing. <laughs> they did their internal investigation and, and they had to kick yeah, these niggas right. out. Yeah. Like, damn. I don't know what Disney Channel doing. Is it the same situation? Yo, every time I watch like the Cartoon Network Disney and Nickelodeon, it's the same five shows, bro. Yeah, really? They got they don't have shit. Like nobody, I don't. Yeah, they don't got they don't have shit. Like it really ain't nothing. Like I said, they just canceled Yo, uh, another all show. I swear to God, all I see is SpongeBob and like SpongeBob. Hmm? And SpongeBob was that the only like active show that's still going? I swear to God, I don't. Spongebob. There's only really? like a few shows that come on these channels, bro. It's none of that. I wonder mean. if that plays a part. Like, cause well, question. At the end of the day, he, like, the nigga was a deviant and he was out of pocket, but he was like. He made hits, he, but he made hits. He at the expense of like a kids. Of shows, like. Yeah. I got a question. This uh, Quiet On Set, is this just Nickelodeon? Because it says season one for episodes. Are they doing other shows? I'm sure. I'm, I'm sh- sure they are. Are they doing sure Disney Channel are. next? Like, I don't know what they're probably. doing, but I'm sure I'm sure Nickelodeon. The, the shorty, the shorty from That's So Raven, um, uh, Chelsea, she apparently, her, she apparently, uh, the uh, the white girl that was in That's So Raven. Her, uh, I never watched. That's um, So Raven, really? Nigga. Her Yo, best after friend. a while, I stopped like watching that shit. No, for sure. I, I, I get what you. You understand, bro? My mom was watching The Wire, like, yeah. and she said I couldn't watch it. So you know what that meant? I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch this yeah. shit. Like. That's a good show, though. Yeah, but pretty, yeah. pretty much. I was she watching said Sex in the get, City at 13. Like, she pretty much watched Sex in the City when that came up. Was time Yo, for me. Yo, my mom said I couldn't watch it, so I like had to watch it. <laughs> what like, is about? Oh, some serious in shit. Spite. Like, what no, is about? Like, I'm sort of got Zane Sex Chronicles. I was a fan of that shit. Like, it used to come on Showtime at nine o'clock every uh. Oh well, yeah, yeah. This them is, Cinemax, this is, Jones, and, and like, HBO. Just I don't know why I was watching that shit. Like, Skinemax. Skinemax, real sex, yeah, real yeah, sex. yeah. Real yeah. sex, was, I get that. Real sex was something else, man. They, they had some shit. How the fuck we get here? Yeah, that's, yeah, let's go back. Yeah, yeah. Back to the kitchen. Like I was saying, <laughs> like I was saying, that's, oh, a, wait, that's a good segment. Wait, though. wait. I'm always shout you out. My first DVD porno. Stop. Just stop. What? Stop. Booty Talk 76 is still in my room right now. You still got that, John? Yeah, I showed it to you, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? My white DVD. What's up, man? I stole that from my man, you, you Jason. You was the man. You, you. Stole it from Jason's, Jason's house. Jason, dad, rest in peace to Mr. Ed. Jason. Rest in peace, dad. Mr. Ed. Had, Mr. Ed, you the man. He had yeah, a cool. shelf. Full DVDs. The, he was the He had nigga. a shelf in his, in his dining room. Like in the dining room? An open shelf of DVDs, and at the very top, the, <laughs> the first, top was the, the booty shakers. First shakes. two rows was porno. <laughs> first the two rows, the top first two rows. It was like a, a set he didn't like, try to hide that shit ones. better. It was no, like yo, five yeah, or yeah, six yeah, rows. Yeah, top ones. It's my crib, nigga. And the first <laughs> two <laughs> rows was porno. That's a lot of porn, yo. That's a lot of porn. And back in the day, that's a lot of porn. This how wild it was. I used to like take his pornos and bring it back, and like take them to the crib and like use them, Jones. And How like, did you replace get to him? The, replace him with another DVD. I tried to go back. I tried to. <laughs> All right, go back. yo, that's that's just yeah, let's, let's go back. the story. The, the DVD came clear, but I yeah. got a white because you come on, I'm Jones and Bud. Can we let's just go back real quick? Let's, 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 <laughs> take 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 us all this part, yo. Yeah. That was the first time I saw yeah, Jada uh, Fire. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But all right, all right. Now I'm done. The goat. Yeah, Jada yo, Fire. We gonna have to talk about them, them porno days. The goat. The DVD stands and shit. It's we're not talk, yo, one day we're going to talk about that. I we, went we, back, yo, we can, but right, can, hold on. Right, right, save it, save it, save it, money, save it, money. Save it. Not the episode yeah. for the shit. It's right, not you, the episode for the shit. Take a brief intermission. We'll be back. I just yeah. want to say, porn not the same. <laughs> Press pause. Press pause. <laughs> Let me see you do the brand. Come on, Chad. Do the brand. Do the brand. Do the brand. I want it. I want it. Alright, we back. Them titties go shake. Them titties. <laughs> we back. Part two. Poor shake them titties. Poor. Uh, sh- shake them, boys. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh. 
Was it not expecting that? No, no you, you are right. She shaking, right. she shaking I, I, I know she just shaking. Them things like an ass. <laughs> they be in rotation, like, mm, 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 sturdy. Mm. <laughs> He's sturdy? Yeah, she got sturdy titties. Yo, shout out to BFB, man. Yeah, I'm out the pod two system. of them got titties. The other two got ass. This is this is a perfect combination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they balance each other out really they good. They balance each hey, other bro, out. It's yin and yang, like yin and yang, man. So I oh, they, my, they, they my dogs, though. I fuck with. I love them. Facts. Shout to be up there. Shane yeah. cooked last time, but yeah, portion of that is because me and money went over there like, mm-hmm. a couple weeks ago. Last time I was home, and usually the thing is when you go to Porsche crib, she's gonna she cook some cook bread. She's gonna cook. That's part of the podcast. She like, just, I don't know. Like she was off. She wasn't on point. She was on her game. You know what it is? She's Damn. stigmatized. Yeah, probably she's so. Stigmatized. You sure what you said? She was cutting yeah, baldies and shit. Niggas, so like, like <laughs> cool guy and all, but yeah. I'm screaming. You can still make niggas a move. New dick, like they just can't focus. They don't know how to act. Yeah, so you know how it is when you hit that right. You know what I'm saying yeah. button. You hit the back of that wall. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> hey, we back to part two. We're back to part two. Speaking hey. of hitting the back of walls and ass and titty shaking. Freak Nick. Freak Nick. Let's get into I want to rock. I want to rock. I just want to say. Yes. I yeah. had high hopes for this doc. Yeah. I was a little disappointed. I was let down, bro. I'm I was going to ask y'all how did y'all feel. Y'all debauchery ass niggas. That's what the fuck it is. For all the build up. Hold on. Talk, 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 no, wait. No. We good. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What is. With Tay and he's big. <laughs> yo, he think he's he an educated brother, yo. <laughs> what you say? Debauchery. Yo, this nigga, you say, what the fuck you talking about? How do you even spell it? <laughs> that you right. You ain't gonna what was the last word? Ejaculated? <laughs> Nick, he laid it, nigga. God he damn. Laid it. Like, what the fuck? Normal, nigga. You can't, you can't say big words around niggas. Uh, this is this is accurate. Very true. Either it's way. not even that. It's just like. I don't know. Never mind. Go ahead, man. <laughs> All right. T.I.'s three against one because I feel the same way. <laughs> For as long as it's been, you know, we've seen trailers and it was a hype build up, I was kind of... I it, was really cool. like, it was crazy. It was we good. talked about it on the pod. It I thought it would movie. be longer, too. I, yeah. would be, I would rather see like a four-part series, four-part series, hour and a half. I mean, it was enough, I guess, but... It was on... I feel like if it was on an, another... Uh, streaming service and it might have showed more. Another thing I'm thinking too is as though you gotta think it was the nineties. So they didn't have cell phones. It was all the footage they had was a raw it was camera. RG. Yeah footage. Oh, so oh, it, it was probably that. only but so much no camera I'm just saying shit. it was probably only but so much they had. Like that, that they that, could, you know, they, they could. show that yeah, was I mean, screen, they, you know, yeah. clear enough for us to, you know, yeah. See I feel something. like they could have brought more people on to talk about it. Than just like the original. I was like, kind of when they when they showed like what's his name? The guy from Philly? I'm like, thinking, I'm 21, thinking 21 Savage. Why the fuck was he? Yeah, like why is he here? What's the guy from Philly name? Uh, Lam- is him Lamar Hill? Oh, uh, Lamont Hill. Why the fuck was he? <laughs> Lamont what? Wait a minute. Because he he I, I just might what be was, a journalist. Like, Sometimes you just get oh, oh the black guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was mean, like, wait, yeah, I know him. I was like, 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 man, man. I I but we talking about freak Nick. Like we don't. That's not the angle I thought we were going for. I wanted to see like some big booty white chick with like paw prints on her titties and like white chick, <laughs> white chick. Yeah. That, that's or, Daytona Beach, nigga. That yeah, ain't that's, or, that's not, I wasn't done. Y'all interrupted me. <laughs> or like a chocolate brown like Amazon chick about six one with a fat ass and like I ain't gonna lie, I got trained at ninety six. Like I wanted to hear that story. You want to hear the, the? I didn't really he wanna wanted hear, to like, hear the, the political like version of like. Freak Nick from like niggas. I didn't want to hear that. I got a question. So what I what I liked right. was was that it did start off political and yeah. it got to the raunchiness. Yeah. But Too I'm like political. I'm like you. I'm gonna get into it. I was expecting to see like what I saw online as far as the lady in front of the cop car with pussy spread out. Yeah. You saw that picture flowing around. Yeah. yeah. Like shit like that. Like, I wanted to see some butthole. I'm not gonna exactly. Lie. Like, but the way it started, I like how it started. Not um. My wording was wrong. Not political, but it started off as like actually like talking about what Freak Nick was. Like humble and beginning. The beginning. The yes. of it. Yeah. it wasn't yeah. of yeah. and the and the name Freak Nick wasn't to be like a nasty it wasn't ass to be freak. Nick. Yeah. yeah, all the you know, um events was started with Freak and just so called happened they called it Freak Nick to, to replace yeah, Picnic. So let's start let, then let's start from the origins then. Like how like we really got Did y'all really know about any of that? What the fuck is going on? What? I knew um Yeah. Hmm? What fucking my fucking mic and shit is going out. 
I can still hear you well. I can hear you. I can hear you, bro. I, oh, it might be the headphones then. I can't hear shit. The headphones? Yeah, my headphones just went the fuck out. What you three, right? Yeah. I can't see from this side. I don't. Turn me up, Guru. Oh, there it is. Turn um, me up, Cruz. I'm oh, good. Oh, what the fuck just happened? Like it. <laughs> Yo, I had to like. Started dying, but so I know I had like revisit like Hove's catalog. Hove. It's amazing, bro. Oh, man, bro, when I'm in the gym now, my that shit, the, good, my man. shit, the black album. <laughs> That nigga's good, man. Like, what, what more can I say in Encore? I'm like, yo, these two Jones in the gym go hard. Bro, I get sad. Yeah, like, yo, even, like, like listen to where I'm from. Like, the picture the nigga was painting was crazy. Like, but that's a whole nother episode. Right. Um, yeah. We'll circle back to that with the, with the last topic we got. That, so, damn, um, yo. That nigga was good, yo. So, All right, we're going to circle back. So <laughs> Stay focused. Only focus. Okay. Stay focused. Start the, uh, my, yeah, start the only focus. Stay focused. So, so um, let's then let's let's get let's start back with to the, booties uh, and titties. Yeah, let's and, start, and, 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 and the beginning before booties and titties. Yeah, let's start. When it started off as so, extra, you know, gathering. Some innocent. Yeah, so some innocent, pretty much. So it started off with uh, 1983, right? That's what it, that's what it was. 1983. I forgot you were frat nigga. Yeah, mid 80s. You gonna do a yeah. step for us real quick? No, I'm not. I'm not doing. All that. I, I did enough uh, seeing that last <laughs> night. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> Stump the yard, nigga. Nah, I ain't oh, doing all that. Nah, the yard. Nah. Right. Money definitely could have been a Q dog. He could have, oh. absolutely, by far, without yeah. without I a, any. I was a coke thing. boy instead, so that's how college goes. So it started in 1983. Um, like, it, like, 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 like. I'm said, sorry. What? Ain't it crazy how niggas had to sell drugs <laughs> in college? <laughs> like I was, yo, like statute of limitations has passed. I <laughs> was selling drugs in college, yo. That is wild, yo. Like I feel like yeah, dude, a lot of do. people. That's my first indictment. Complexion like well, that. I'm out. I'll tell you off air, but I took that shit somewhere I shouldn't have took that shit, baby. bro. That's my first indictment in college. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. That's just wild, yo. But go ahead. Um, yeah. So like, like money and I was saying like freak and the freak. Everything was just named at the freak, and then like, of course, they just instead of saying picnic, and of course, before we knew what picnic meant, so they was like, you know, they just combined it and called it freaknik, and pretty much like over the years, like. Through the the mid '80s and stuff, that's when like all the black college students just started to show up, and everything was like it was like vibe. It was much. for um, it was for kids like who um didn't go home during yeah, the spring break. Yeah, yeah, that's how it started. Much. Yep, it was just it started like as a vibe for for college students that didn't go home during spring break, and everybody was coming just coming just to show you know just down there to show love at the um at the the uh, Fremont the, Park. Yeah, Fremont Park yeah. and. It just was. It was like literally like a vibe. Like I go a lot. That that first like maybe that was like maybe like what the first like forty five minutes of the joint. I was like really into it because I'm just like yo, I, like this is like this seemed like it wasn't supposed to go the way it went. I'm just like the whole time like, like watching the joint. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Like how the fuck did it get to where it got to? So, mm. like. Like you said, we going we going this is when, you know, they they still going, everybody coming across the country, you know, black college students or whatever, so be it. And like they were saying, like, you got Daytona Beach and they down there wilding. And then ninety four comes. <laughs> oh, you're moving a little too fast. Yeah, you skipped like yeah, ten years, lot, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm I'm what else happened in the in the mid eighties? No, no, right no, no, he he's right. No. To, yeah. to around like it was the it started on like eighty eight, eighty nine, and then yeah, like the, the next main genre was he no. Talking it about, was, you know, he talking about the when like the first, everybody yeah, like everybody couple. started coming down like, oh, about started, 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 like and then it went wow. to like ninety the, the what, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm trying that's what I'm like, yeah, like nothing really happened yeah. and like it's not, not for, for those like three no, years. Because you gotta you gotta think about it like how Ain't it amazing how black people can come together when yeah. we have absolutely Well, yeah, nothing? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, no, it, like, built up and became yeah, a bigger then, thing. Yeah, yeah like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, it was... It, but it, throughout we, those times, it was still, it like, was a vibe. Uh, it, vibe. Was, it was cool. It was chilling. Nobody was shooting, It wasn't fighting. crazy. Yeah, like, you can... So, like, can, he said, from, like, 87 to 88 when it started, I think... Well, it started... Well, yeah, when, like, when, when mid, everybody mid, started coming down. Yeah, when everybody started coming down, like, yeah. in the mid-80s, yeah. After that, like, I think they said 93... It was. That's when. That's that, when it got the freak ears. Because that's when. Uh, no, I, I Luke think, came down. When, Luke came down in ninety four. I think they said. I think they said it, that was ninety four. No, they said ninety six was the best one. No, but I'm no, saying, no, no, no. Ninety. That's when no, shit got. It was real like ninety three, ninety four. I think. 
94? So yeah, listen, 94 we're probably was the just getting confused. But I remember JD said that his first, like, Crazy John was, I think, 93, because he was still young, young at the time. Yeah, and that's, and that's when yeah. they said Social Death started popping at that time, yeah. was around 93. Yeah. Jay that's when he first went there. Jay LaRose said that that's when they came down. He was like, they, they, was like, they didn't even care. They were like, packing the car right after the game, went right down the freak, nigga. This, this is like, that's like they were saying, like, you could just pull up, park anywhere, walk anywhere. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You holler. That's what I'm holler, saying. You know I'm I think saying? You, you moving a little nah, too Oh, fast. I mean, yeah. Like, all right, so if you want to get into that part, I was just saying, like, Let's go. Like we don't got, like we don't got to skip like the yeah. real right. legit good yeah. parts. Go right. like right. year by year. All right. So right now we in the mid eighties. All right. So we going we gonna keep we gonna keep this part. Of this we gonna say this is like eighty seven to ninety two. How about that? Like that that five yeah. year. All right. So around this time, this is when you know Freak Nick becomes a different entity besides besides just a, a annual picnic that everybody getting together. And they just, you know, out there just, just barbecuing and chilling. But now say, you got say why? What do you mean? Why did they do that? Oh, cause, uh, cause that nobody. You said nobody want like kids didn't want to go home and shit. Like, and you just wanted to get. They just couldn't afford to get. And, 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 and they could not yeah, afford, yeah, afford, afford to go home. home. They couldn't yeah, afford yo, to go niggas home. Was, niggas were broke, yo. Yeah, like, 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 give it a the fee. 80s, the mid eighties and nineties. Niggas, niggas couldn't afford broke. hotel rooms. They slept yeah, in their car and shit. Cars on the floor. Try to get back to Philly from Atlanta. So wait, so wait, look, nigga, look, it was a paper mat. So look, it wasn't even that because because like the what the governor said was the people that was coming down there and the kids that was spending money they. They had money. Yeah, they had Niggas money. Niggas had hundred dollar bills. They brought a gross income in. No, that was after though. Even Some not all. Like I was at the very beginning. Like, when I, like, like the niggas first, couldn't go home because they yeah. couldn't afford. Even to go in home. The, even in the beginning, no, they so some couldn't afford to go home, but a lot of them they liked Atlanta. Like they said, a lot yeah. of the students that came there came from other cities from up the north. No, that is true. But but I, the, I give, yeah. the reason why, why it started it, yeah. even started because niggas could not afford to go, go home. Yeah. For spring break. So that was the, that, like the sole reason. For yeah, it. and they, it became pretty much they that's they came back spring break. So you gotta remember at that time, yeah. black people was poor as fuck. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! I like, think it's amazing how that shit spread. Like that shit. How really like, spread. Well, like what, fifty people the first first time they did it. Yeah. 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 And then they just they just they just like grew everybody and grew was every like year. from the, that college. What, and that, what that, was they calling it? The, it was the, the, the HBCUs, Morehouse, the and Clark, Morehouse, Clark, Clark and Spellman. 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 It, was, it was something. What's the name of it though? Because they created a name for like. Uh, yeah, colleges. you're right. I forget it was, what it's called. It's, I, I, I used to, I used to um, when I was working at FedEx. I used to deliver in deliver in that area. I forget what it's called. You're right. No, I can't the remember. Name, the and name is escaping me. Like each and every college, depending. On, I think it was like MLK Drive. You see all three. MLK and um. Oh, what the fuck is that block? It's MLK and something, but you can like. Look down this row and look down that row and see like both colleges and shit. Like that's how close some colleges are. I forgot. I forgot what it was called. The name is escaping AC me right now. AC something. It was yeah. It's like AC. The AC. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It's like AC something. But I yeah. Like I said, the, the the name is escaping me right now. But either way, like like you said, it's like because they could afford to go home. So like during that time, it just kind of gradually just like. Ratchet it up like it just like more people now. People from out of town is coming down, like you said, people from Philly, people from Houston, and they like said that. all the dope boys coming down too. Like, that was that, bro, I was cracking you, up. Like, you skip I was cracking that? up because dude had differentiated, different. Uh, I forget the differentiated. differentiated. He separated, <laughs> see you. He this separated, this is a big word going to see pain. He separated Philly and Pennsylvania because remember, he said. It was a Delaware team. Mm-hmm. It was yep. a DC team. It was a Pennsylvania team. It was a Philly team. I don't know. That little shit. It's still dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, 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 still got that mentality like, yo, yeah. Philly ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah like, they, we yeah, not the Pennsylvania, rest of bro. Is, it's yeah. Philadelphia and it's Pennsylvania. I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Like, no, real yeah. shit. But it's just like, they all, like, it just, it just, then it became like a thing where they just down there, They like we said, they vibing. You you could, like, what Jalen said, you park your car somewhere. You that's when you leave your car for the rest of the day and you just yeah. walk in. You people burn the grills but out. Another, burn the grills and, and, out. and another thing too I like what it is is with with niggas, we always have like a pinnacle spot to meet up at. Yeah. And they spot down there was a rim. The, the rim joint, yeah. yeah. The rim shop, yeah. Oh. Was the rim a lot shop. of legends was there, yo. Yep. The rim said, oh, they said nigga ain't sold no rims in a year. He said, yeah. said no you might get I might see your car rims on a nigga like yeah. two months later. Yeah. But we don't sell no rims for real. Like, yeah, like, in the studio in the basement. That's like that's no, nigga shit. Still like that, yeah. bro. That's, that's, that's nigga. That's, that's, that's area hood, like that. bro. Like that's sure. area hood. Like, being, all the stars like, go away. When I lived down here, I discovered like why that shit the way it is, bro. Like yeah. I, 
it's certain little shit that I've seen that was like, all right, I understand that. Like, you get it, yeah. Yeah. Bro, in Philly, if you ain't had no cloth for real, like, you couldn't go to Bad Cave. Mm-mm. And even going there, like, you might get... Or Southwest Studios. Bro, none yeah. of them Jones, cuz. Yo, remember we we went to Southwest? It was me, you, and Jameer? Yeah. A couple niggas couldn't come in, bro. I don't know if you, I don't know if you remember that or not. That's crazy. That's the same night we had seen Young Savage. Ah, uh, damn, bro. I, damn, it's, I forgot about that. Like, I forgot I had you down was, there. It was two groups that I got I forgot about that. Yeah, it was two groups that got denied. I they forgot about that. In. I remember that. I forgot about that. Like, you had but to be somebody. I, 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 I knew them through Puff. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm do Puff. Puff. DC. <laughs> I'm cracking up. <laughs> Me, Billy. But um, whatever. Yeah. It's so it just like it just gradually like like you say you get your car like you you could, this is at a time where you could just holla at you know any female that was just chilling they you know they they was you know talking back to you things like that they was just saying like it was just a it was such a a good time like it was, it was no yeah it was a vibe it was just it was just. Everybody just down there having fun. Another thing about niggas too I mean, is we gonna always turn shit into a show. Like they, they yeah. like you said, they yeah. the cars they had was back to back. Oh like, yeah, yo, that, this is when bro they, niggas you know was stuck in minivans. <laughs> yo, yeah, I seen that. Peep Mini shows, vans. they had yo. peep shows, yo. Oh, wait, hold, y'all niggas they didn't care, yo. Yeah, yo. Niggas have been in corners and white corners. <laughs> yo, this shit was crazy. Like what they said, the, the, that's when nice. the uh, the <laughs> the cow was clean. Uh, Bang bros like, for real. Clean. Corners are all mobile. Drawling dog. One of what they said, they, it was a, it was a one point where they they all rented a uh, 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 the like RV, the RV and shit. Yeah. I was like, yo. so we paid one hundred and twenty five dollars a piece. Like, one boy, God the damn. One boy said he they, they had rented a U-Haul. Yeah, rented a U-Haul. Stuck stuck in the U-Haul. Stuck in the U-Haul and shit, like because they couldn't they they couldn't afford hotel. hotels and shit. So it's like, yeah, you knew lucky. You better be lucky to know somebody that lived down there. You could sleep on a four and stuff like that. Or they get said, lucky, yo. It, so look, yeah, or get and, lucky. And the crazy how times change, where you can go from like just going getting a U-Haul with ten niggas going down south, meeting bitches, having fun. To now you gotta you have can't do that shit now, like bro. a penthouse suite with a uh, fucking coloring outside, yeah. bro, and a listen, Rolex. Yep. Can you imagine telling a bitch, yo, we gonna get a rent a U-Haul? You bring four of your bitches. I'm gonna bring my niggas, and we gonna go down and have a good time. Not even that. Go to freak say, say a RV. You can say a, not even a U-Haul. Say oh, a RV. RV. You can say a RV because they had an RV. You can say a RV. A bitch gonna call you sassy for no reason. Yeah. RV. RV. <laughs> you trying to camp, nigga? You sassy ass nigga. <laughs> you wanna go camping, nigga? We can't do nothing, dog. <laughs> Everything we do is sassy. You can't it. get the belly. <laughs> You we can't, can't fly with the demon. You can't fly like the fuck. The fuck? At least make it a, a Mercedes RV. Like what the fuck? You couldn't get the PJ. Ew, broke ass nigga. Uh, Not a bus. We got an RV, a, a truck. Like, like this what? Is crazy dog. God damn <laughs> oh, man. Yo, yo yo, them old niggas had it so good back then, bro. Right. Like facts. I think they under. I think at that point. They understood that, yo, we we, we all broke out here. Yeah. We just had to have a good time. We just yeah. like we it just, was different. Like, just have fun, bro. We just had to like, have fun. People like, were still like, and that's what I got. Respectful. That's what I got out of that whole documentary. Mm. Them niggas knew how to have fun. fun, and yeah. even what they with, with, with close to nothing, mm. yeah. literally. And with the fun they had, it wasn't too over the top as far as being too horny. Until it was just enough. Until, 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 until a certain it was, so hold it on, wasn't. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, getting there. Yeah. In the beginning, we got, we it skip. was it was just enough. You saw just enough ass, yep. enough dress, like they, enough they, leg. What they call it, coochie the cutters. Beginning. And the niggas like would take their little clips and like you say, keep it moving and go to yeah, the next one. Yeah. Like, they'll try to shoot their shot if you ain't hitting. It's yeah. a whole field yeah. of other bitches out here. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, like you said, like the, the you know, the coochie cutters, as I'm saying, some of them. You know, they just they was just out there. You know, it, like some of the ladies, they were saying like they this was a time to to let free and have fun and just just be mm-hmm. you know not so uptight and things like that. And it's just like damn, dog. Like like I said, what the fuck happened? Like, like we say, that goes with the crowd. So yeah. it went from being a bunch of college college students, students to, to wait, hold up, and you you skipping over though because you you still got to go through. When the shit got freaky, because now that that they came down during that time, but it didn't that didn't really start to happen like that until after yeah, Luke the, came. The, the great transition he, came when like Luke, everybody was coming from different colleges, and yeah. then Luke got involved. Yeah, Luke got involved, and that's when shit got freaky. Once Luke came down the freak Nick, now yeah. shit got shit got it a became little, freak freak cap capital yeah, the freak, freak yeah the freak became more prominent than the whole entire name being freak Nick. Yo, peep this the, we call it freak Nick. Two episodes, freak Nick. You get it? Oh, freak nigga Nick. What well, Nickelodeon? Well, technically it would be Nick. Freak, <laughs> <but> <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. 
Yeah. <laughs> we already had the name for the Why? show. We had like, we already had the, we already got the name for the for the. Why for you the can't pie. just be normal? <laughs> we already got the name for the pies. Okay. I'm being normal. This is me. You, we already know the name for the pies. Okay, we got we got the name for it already. But uh, yeah, so Luke came Yo, down. This, we're gonna call it Freak Nick. Luke taught us this. Oh my god, bro. Go ahead, Tay. Luke, Luke, came, Luke came down. And shit got real. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Okay. Freak Nick <laughs> All right, I'm done. I have nothing to do with it <laughs> So yeah So Luke came down And that's when the Freak And Freak Nick Became way more prominent Than they thought It should have been Pretty much So As in uh, Now now. Uh, so even before that Right Not yeah. to cut you I'm sorry go ahead. No go ahead Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> My favorite part Of all that Is like Shut up <laughs> Shut up <laughs> Shut up! I knew what he was about to do. Yo, <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Yo. Go ahead, use uh, my favorite part of that, like of all that shit. <laughs> oh oh God. man, I, this, this nigga. Huh? Was the the careers that 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 shit had? Outcast and them, yeah. Outcast, JD becoming they, who they, yeah, yeah, Drake and Josh. Um, because um, so. Cause they they didn't Hold they on. didn't have him. <laughs> they, Stop. They, Stop. They didn't have they didn't have uh they didn't play hip hop on the radio in Atlanta back. Yo, in ain't the that 90s. crazy? That's bro. crazy as shit. Yeah, that's I, crazy as shit. I, I, I would have never thought that. I would have never. I would never thought of that. Yeah, they said they used to get. You imagine playing R and B all day? I want to hear that shit all day. You, they said they used I'm to. I'm not trying to hear the fucking quiet storm all fucking day. No, and I'm an R and B person. I would I not want that. Like not all day, day, every day. day. Not all day, every day. All day, every day. I do it now. Okay, so listen. Uh, I feel like you lying. Yo. You want to see my recent play songs? It's not nothing right. You don't listen to rap at all. It's, if it is, it's LL Cool J. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm laughing because we, me and this nigga had a conversation. Like, we can so, say that for the so, end. So listen, so you uh, listen to future album? Huh? You listen to future album? Which album? Future? Which one? The one that just came out. One. Okay. So wait a minute. Wait, uh, 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 no, I'm just no, I'm just uh, saying he, he uh, just uh, dropped. Yeah. Yo, save it. Nigga save it. The whole album. Save it. Yeah. Save it, Stop. money. Yo, just, just save it. Just, just save, save this song. Save it. Just save Tay, it. Go save ahead, Tay. Go oh, ahead. Fucking, I'm telling you. They they said they only had like like what a half an hour or something like that when the DJs was playing. Or they only played it at night. Yo, they, they only play played it at night, night yeah. and shit. Like that's fucking crazy. Like that's really insane. In Atlanta, like yeah, I would never like had thought that. But that's why like Atlanta has the stigma that it has because it just created like. Yeah, black excellence. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I can see that. Can and see it that. carries on to the day. Like, I give them that. Yeah, it, they still got like that stick with them. Yeah, no, for sure. No, because I, I feel it like now. Like going down there, you know, when you was yeah, doing all that shit. I feel like, it now. So even yeah, like seeing it was going there, on back yeah. then, I'm like, damn, this shit was going on back then. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going down there now is a, a dope. And this shit was going on before I was born. Well, when I was born. I'm like that's that's dope. Yeah. That's why I don't like the people when people that's be like dope. you can't go to Atlanta like you you want to go to Atlanta to like fix your problem like I'm not saying go to Atlanta to fix your problem but nigga you run to the right people to like yeah nigga I didn't see celebrities businessmen businesswomen Bro. like all kind of people like yeah, I think yeah, I, I think just there, just let me had met somebody that I was supposed to meet in Atlanta when we went down there I wasn't coming back with y'all niggas like oh yeah we need a DJ to do this this and the third yep right here your man right here nigga me and the DJ is cool yeah you know what I'm saying. Especially in Atlanta, Shout for sure. <laughs> Shout out to Rigo. <laughs> I'm cracking the fuck. I yeah. tell you some shit off area. That nigga's wild, bro. Um, but, but he DJ that night. We all we all went. Oh, he DJ that night. Oh, but it was shit. some shit that went there that night. Oh god. Wait, what night was I there? The, so uh, you, you yeah, so you use, there. so use. Um, so yeah, so that's shit. Just started to, when you think about it, like. To not, to know that about you know how that's how most of like people like Outkast and all them got they got they start like just because of Freak Nick pretty much, that's that's crazy because they was like you they didn't have you know social media and shit like that so they had to hand out cassettes everything was word of mouth yeah everything was word of mouth so you get you know all these college students from across these black college students yeah. from across America pretty much coming down there I'm not Yo, that marketing was smart as shit yeah I, but I, I fuck with it. Street. I fuck with it like yeah. a lot, a lot more than like what we have now. Like oh, meeting niggas hand to hand. Like if yeah. I see you out there, like hey, my sample was here, nigga. Like that's a lot better than and me. And then like you had to be outside. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You they actually they gonna they, play that shit. Yeah, cause they pop it right into the yeah. to the joint cause they in traffic right now. So you know, or they about to park the car. 
pop the pop the cassette in and yo, yeah, be, I would be so now and then. No, no. fucking hot with that traffic. I swear to God. Niggas said they move like from one stop sign to the next within two hours. That was that's later, bro. You, yeah, you, you skip. You, you skip nah, it. That's, that's yeah, you end, skip bro. it. Like yeah. No. That, can we still? We didn't even still really fully talk about the Luke, Luke. Luke's in like his his whole. It like, was traffic then too. I know, but that's not. I'm not talking about the, the no, traffic. He, he traffic. He I part. know, but I'm saying, but the traffic, right, the yeah. traffic that he's talking but about. Was I'm not talking about that one. They was partying during yeah. that during Luke's traffic. Yeah, that, that was traffic, still a good time. I'm the not traffic talking that about, you talk about is, is I'm, worse. I'm not talking about that one. What traffic? It's what's traffic? <laughs> <you talking about? laughs> he, gets, he gets me. Y'all missing out. <laughs> so talking about Luke's influence. T Pain is good. You want to talk about Luke, Luke influence? Oh, no, I mean, oh, I'm just, man. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it just, like, it just got really, like, you know, the strip clubs. That's what shit got popping the strip clubs even more. Like, you had to go there too. Luke just kind of like he got down there, and you know, he rapping about you know popping that pussy and showing them titties and all this other shit, like he said. And you know, he he's, he got the lady. They what they said they didn't call it twerking back then, they called it ass shaking. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's just like you, you see a girl shaking the ass on some of the car. videos, they wasn't shaking shit. Yeah, they was not. Shaking shit. <laughs> they, was, they wasn't shaking shit a lot in the in the in some of the, the videos that we saw. <laughs> then again, the fact that they was just shaking that little that was enough for them. That was enough for them, like, yeah, it was enough for them, man. That shit, you know, um, because you, if you, I don't know if you peep, it was like. Two chicks out of like forty five of them that they the fact, do. They had a fat ass. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but yeah. just the fact they had the Duke zones enough. Yeah, the, the, I'm about to say that as long as they had the Daisy Duke zone, that, that's all it was. Just a chance to see a cheek. <laughs> was enough for cheek, them niggas. Cheek come out. That was it for them. Like and like like Monday said they weren't overly horny. That's but that's yeah. also another thing. Like now I can just go to my phone and and just see that shit. Yeah, like, you know. Yeah, I don't gotta right. go to like no porn website. Just off of a social media, just yeah, it's just it's just there. I see a camel toe. It's, it's no, it's no, it's no leads to your imagination no more. It's just oh well, you know. Somebody said that on the show though. They said like the Daisy Duke stuff from enough imagination to where it was it was like cheek. Yeah, yep. not yeah, too much yeah, cheek. yeah. Uh, chick from uh, from Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, I liked her. She she was giving up on that John. I forget her name. A lot of cheek. What's her name? I Who? forget. Chick from Love and Hip Hop. Oh, um, I, I don't know. What are you talking about though? Okay. Rashida. Yeah, Rashida. Yeah, she was giving up on that job. Yeah. yeah, she probably was throwing that pussy around back I'm, then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting that. All right. I'll tear that ass. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker look good. You hear me? Oh my, she was so, a freak, Nick. Yeah, so. I know she was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and oh, speaking of people that, that was that freak, my butt, my tongue on her butt. Oh, I ain't gonna lie <laughs> you know what the crazy thing is? Oh, real quick though, too. Just think about, just think about Nigga, the, what? Huh? Oh yeah. Just think about the 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 the, the people that they had. But that's what they was doing to. though. Like, yeah, they was. Yeah, they was. Yeah, some of them niggas. They had they nasty. Big, just think of the people that they had a freak nigga and shit like that, like Biggie and all them too. Like that shit. That's that was like that was really something too to say. It's probably caca. Like. From looking at all of so them. So much ass? Yeah, just, just look uh, both yeah, ways like Yeah, this. both ways. Like, yeah, that, yeah. I'll be cock-eyed, too. Grab your tits if you love hip-hop. Uh, Ladies. Yeah. 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 That shit. That Yo, shit. you know what? You know who almost had that wave? Who? Henny Palooza. Yeah. yeah. They almost had it until, like, shit went left with the rape shit. But that's, a, you know. Yeah, so... um. <laughs> We'll move it on. So now, na, na, now na, 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 so na. we um, so let's talk about when shit re- when shit really kind of like started to go downhill. Down. The uh, the Olympics. What, the Olympics. Um, so Atlanta won the '96 Olympics, and they that's why I kind of like was iffy with the with the because they didn't really get into detail like yeah how the Olympics like like really affected like. Freak Nick, but freak I don't. Um, they they kind of, but they was kind of saying like it was a business, to, a business movement because they was like you got. That's kind of that's kind of like all they said. Like like I want to I mean, know like, go ahead. What exactly business did they affect? And like pretty, I guess they were saying um, like they they was, talked about that. Yeah, a like little bit. I guess a okay. little. It was a little bit, so, but it wasn't like the detail ahead, that I was. The really way wanted. the way I looked at it, they kind of leave it up to like the viewer to like fill in the gaps. So mm-hmm. the way I took it, it was like what they said was more of business. I think at that point, business owners weren't able to make 
the amount of money they should have been during yeah. that week. Yeah. And then like as like you hosting the Olympics, you're gonna have people all around the world coming into your city. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now you now you got now you the city's under a light now. Like not even just that. Yeah. It's just at that point, Freak Nick was getting like more and more outraged. Like we've yeah. seen the zenith the zenith of like that it, shit was just yeah. too much. Yeah. So you got a foreigner come into your city, they're bringing money, they're bringing millions of dollars, mm-hmm. and you have this event that over the years has been getting wilder. I want to see worse, but wilder and wilder. Like I can see as a business owner and as like a mayor, you're like this isn't a good look. Yeah. Like this is a once in a lifetime like situation they ever going to get with the Olympics. Do you think that they did that mm. on purpose? Also, make it for the Olympics. Wait, they went on purpose. Like bring the Olympics to Atlanta. Well, they they had to win the Olympics. Yeah, I don't they think. I don't think. I don't know how it worked. Yeah, I, think they, 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 I think it's a lottery. I think it's a lottery. It's a lottery. Explain like yeah, it's, how that. No, it's, it's a lottery. It's a lottery. It's a lottery for the Olympics. Think about it. It's a coincidence out of all places in America. Nah, I think I think when they when they won that shit, they were excited. Understood. That's going to bring millions or millions, even billions of dollars to the city. Yeah, and like. I said that's like a once in a lifetime event. Like that's something that's going to be the record book forever. Yeah. It's the Olympics, nigga. It's not like it's not so just look, anything. You got you to also think too. You are going to pick horny black teens who come here to party for a weekend once a year and probably fucking and, 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 and they bring in they bring in they bring in not not, not million. billion. They said like like thirty million, forty million. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the Olympics brings in down damn near two billion. billion. Yeah. yeah. Well, not two not billion. That long. Yeah, I was no, they. I, that, I don't time. believe it. Whatever, but, but, but that's what they said. Yeah, they they said too. They said money, two money, is, money, so double said, minimum. Yeah, yeah, money runs everything. We know this. So it's and, just like, and yeah. then like, and said, it's like white. F- well, it's just a foreigners. bunch of folks, foreigners, foreigners who aren't yeah. like rowdy and shaking pussy. And you ass want them to be comfortable at the end of the day. Yeah. Like they blocking going, up traffic like that, which is in a rude way. Which is kind of crazy though, because the Olympics wasn't until the summer, and freak niggas during, pretty much around the. Around but they April. had to clean the city. That's up what I'm saying. Before, I was about yeah. to say, yeah, I was about to say, but they had to clean the city up. So it's just like they 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 chose, got prepared for the limit. Yeah, they, they got, got built shit up. Yeah, they yeah. got built shit up. So they was like they like look. Hey, potholes they had to fill. <laughs> oh my fuck. Yeah, they said they had to fill <laughs> potholes and rid of the homeless. Yeah, like what? This is crazy. Fucked up. So you don't get what, stoned to blow the fuck out of here. <laughs> so what shit got what shit got real was when they stopped when they stopped letting them go downtown. That's yeah, they, they start blocking off all the exits. Blocking and shit. off all the exits. So now they like, yo, we've been driving for like four or five hours just to get off the expressway. Bro, and we know from last year, just driving for 30 minutes in Atlanta on the expressway is fucking annoying as hell. You gotta leave the crib an so, hour ahead of time. To get yeah, anywhere. I think that so made just, things 10 times worse. Yeah, so hmm. just. I think that made things 10 times worse. Oh, yeah, because yeah. remember, it was one one dude said, it's going something. He's like, is it, you know, we've been sitting in traffic forever, whatever. So he said something like on the lines of, you know, this shit, but the bad, some bad shit might start to happen now because y'all got all of us got a bunch of traffic, bunch of horny dickheads in traffic. Yeah, just just sitting there like drinking and stuff. Another and thing too, it's the nineties. Niggas don't got GPS. Yeah, that's, so, yeah that's they don't know where to go. They don't know where to go. Driving and like, you out of like, town. Yeah, so exactly. it's just you know like you just, you just knew so from know, years ain't before. It crazy how like all highways lead to Atlanta. Yeah, but what I was thinking was, I was watching BMF. They just said that's that. That's how episode. they, yeah. That's he how said, they got, bro, Atlanta yeah. got all these intersections and highways that lead all to urban highways, America. 95, 20, all 80, all lead to Atlanta. Like, really? I didn't know that. They got a, yeah, a, all of them. A, a part in Atlanta called the Spaghetti Junction. Like, and that shit go to everywhere, bro. That shit really? goes anywhere. Yes, bro. That shit is literally. It's kinda, it's kinda and funny it's, how and it's a straight that. ride. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Atlanta's the perfect spot for Freaknet. Yeah, yeah, it was. Like, it, like, like, they said, they, it's like they said, right? them niggas, they was like them niggas, them niggas really just got in, just got in their cars and just drove down there. Like it was nothing. Yeah. We ain't catching no flights. We ain't, they just yo, said that shit is in this direction. It, yeah, they, they just, just it's drove. In this direction, yeah, if you take I twenty up all the way, bro. Like, like, Atlanta is straight drive, bro. From yeah. from Philly, like, yeah, yeah like, just go straight. It's like it's like it's, it's like it's like you said, like it's two intersections. Like you you fucking just you you in traffic now from like like money now money. We saying they they saying we could. Just go from one end of the block to the stop sign in an hour or two hours. That would annoy the shit out of me, cause now it's like, and then like now you trying to see some buttholes. Yeah, like I lost my car, bro. Like yeah, I left my car. <laughs> Fuck they, like they like you butthole, said, they don't know where they going. Traffic? Like it's not scorching butthole. <laughs> She wearing she wear come out of them pants. It's, like, it's that not, it's not Daisy Dukes. Yeah. Yeah. Daisy Dukes about to come off. Uh-huh. It's just like 
They it's not they was like yeah. it's not it's not like it was before. It's not like, you know, when they first got like the years in past when you first get down there, you know exactly where to go. Like everybody pretty much going the same exact way, yeah. the same exact place. The butthole right they, there. They all just all right, but <laughs> just just follow traffic. So yeah. who, who do y'all blame for the downfall of Freak Nick? I think the Olympics. Nah. Not, not, I don't think it's the Olympics. No, the, the, Olympics, the, the niggas that's no, no, oh no, oh wait. Because now that's actually, I'm glad you asked that. Cause I feel like when shit really got real and the downfall is when them 35 and 40 year old niggas started going down there. Oh, what, I don't blame them. Too what age did one started going down there? Hmm? What age? I mean, what year was that? That was after 96. I that blame, was at the Olympics. I blame, um, that's, what, like, that's what they started saying. That what shit year was the Olympics? 96. So you said that was after 96. That's what I said. That, that's when the thirty-five and forty-year-olds started going. That's that's they didn't what go the, down that's, until ninety-six. What? No, I'm saying they. I'm For saying the old heads? Yeah, I'm saying the old heads didn't go down. Didn't go down there to after ninety-six. That well, that's why. I, that's why no, I got. No, that's what so I got from it. Wait, 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 listen, that's it what was, I got from it. Like I. No, I'm saying I'm so I know they was used right so now. So wait, wait, wait. Listen, it was. It wasn't the old heads. The old head, before they said the old heads that was there. They like provided you know. Food and waters and sodas and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I no. So I'm not. that's why I say I, I think it was more so of the outside niggas who was the horny drug. I'm blaming dealers. the Uncle Luke. I don't know. Um, because the shit was still kind of chill. Because that's who kind of like put like the the light on it. Outside I don't of, know about outside of blame college students. a Pacific person. I'm just saying shit. Shit really did. From what the I get why you say. I, yeah. From what the documentary showed me, like once Uncle Luke had like came through and like. But the first artists, couple of years, it was still cool though. Yeah, they, it was yeah, still a line that that it was, it was still like respect there to yeah. a certain extent. Like you, you see, I just, once they got the '97 and '98, they I just the think females that, was like, yo, like now these niggas out here raping. Yeah, niggas, like I think at a certain point, niggas shit, just like, didn't have no respect for like the ladies. I'm thinking about like the snowball effect of it. Yeah. I mean, that could have been the okay. conclusion of like, I yeah, yeah, the yeah, start. Yeah, you, I, I feel, I, all right, so I get what you used to say. You used to saying like the downfall you, you started about when, when Luke when came through. Certain shit get too big. It's like you get it's out of your control at a certain point. Yeah, no, for sure. I get what you're saying, you know what but it's like I feel like do y'all remember at at the end of the day, the sole purpose of Freak Nick was for broke costumes who couldn't lead the crib. Yeah, no, I, I feel like what I feel like I'm with you. So all right, so you is pretty much saying like so. What I'm gonna say is it got commercialized. Luke, yeah, that's what I should it say. got commercialized. So once it got commercialized, mm. it still was cool for like a year or two, and then that's why I say the Olympics. It, it brought a light to it because you got somebody yeah. as big as Luke. When I think it's commercial. I'm thinking like an official like entity, like the city itself was getting involved in promoting. The city Nick. was getting involved. They though. was promoting Free Nick like that. I don't. I don't. I don't remember that like, part of that. Atlanta doing. knew I'm, what Freak Oh, yeah, I'm pretty was, sure they yeah. knew because they was making their money. Of course they would know. But when, like... I don't think Atlanta... I'm, I don't know. Was Atlanta, like, really, like, for Freak Nick? Or were they just... At well, the oh, time, oh, oh, they were. I can call somebody if you want me to call somebody. I mean, you can. Or was they just like, hey, they bringing in money. It ain't too wild. People love it. You just... Well, I think, Why not? I think at a point, I think, I think, I think at, it's a different. I think really? at a point it was like that. That was like, hey, it's not too wild. They having fun, stuff like that. Just yeah, because they bring it. It, they bring in money then, into the city. Then it's like, like you said, all right. So Luke comes in. That kind of, that might have started it, but like it was still cool. even then. Pe- like, but I'm saying, like, let me, I'm just let me, I'm like, just let me, because I'm trying to yeah, make your point. Yeah. So Luke came in, so that's where it kind of started. But it was still, it was still kind of cool for number. Oh, what's he was still he was still kind of it was still kind of cool for the, for a couple years after that, and then like I said ninety six that's when the Olympics happened that that might have drove up extra tension in the situation because all because uh because of them blocking off all the shit. I thought at ninety I thought at ninety six it was already like at its worst at that point, and then uh, I thought. Wait. I thought ninety six. It was already like got in that's, when got his. that's what I'm saying. Like so, ninety six. That's that's what I'm saying. That's why I said ninety four was going. The... Yeah, that's what that's why that's what I'm trying to go. Like I was trying to. That's what I was trying to get to where I was trying to get to. That's what I was just saying. Ninety six when they got the Olympics. That's when the tension kind of rose, and then that's when you get the ninety seven and ninety eight. That's when motherfuckers stop stop fucking respecting and shit like or, that. That's when start raping females. Was the one story that the the lady when was told the last Huh? Ninety eight. Ninety eight. No, it was, I was like, I think like probably like 2000. No, no it wasn't was that long. No, 98 was the last one. Yeah, it, 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 it's either 98 or 99, but I think it's 98. But my point is, is 
once you got to once you got to ninety seven to ninety eight, that's when a lot of you see all those interviews. It was like it's not the same no more. A lot of a lot of the females is like it's just not the same. You see, you see them. The story that the chick told about her getting ripped up, fighting with the fighting with the dude, yeah, and, get, and getting ripped. So all right, so yeah, so ninety nine. So yeah, last one. and they said at least a lot of motherfuckers didn't go to ninety nine. Like a lot of people were just like I'm not going to freaking Nick next year. Like like you saw that in the documentary. A lot of people saying I'm not coming back next year. Cause they don't know how to respect. No more. It, it was just a bunch of horny ass niggas. niggas. Motherfuckers just now just raping. But they, you saw it was like what they said it was like two separate. It was like two separate rapes like across town from each other and shit like that. that that's crazy. Yeah, Yo, you know what freaking niggas like? What? It's like the evolution of South Street. It's funny. It's funny. Like when you first went down to South Street, it was yeah. like just a bunch of like bitches and cool niggas just having fun mm-hmm. on one you know avenue. Uh-huh. Same thing with the car show, and then over the years, after the whole like um, what was that shit called? Oh, the flash mob. Yeah, it like just turned south. Like, I got a question. Yeah. 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 I got, yeah, I got a question. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Feel me? Because when I think about the South Street shit, I think of like a generation and gap. Like we didn't do that shit. Yeah. But no, that was, our, that was our generation. That was us, bro. We was flashing. I don't, yeah, I don't that know was, that shit. Yeah. I, I, remember, I, thought, I thought it was like 16, 15 no, year olds, bro. I remember that, 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 that was, I, I was down there during, it was before St. Patrick's Day. It was that weekend. Well, what, what, that oh, shit was uh-huh. wild. Yeah, that was our generation. What year? Yeah. What year was this? When, when that first happened, what year was that? It was like 09, 2010. I remember Team Nike yeah. and Team Adidas yeah. and Poe. Oh. That was during that time? Yeah. yeah. That, that was, was, yeah. was in high school when that. That was, that was right after days? the PFP, yeah. During the party squad days, bro? Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah, that definitely. Shit. Yeah. I remember that shit later on. No, that no. was them, bro. Yeah, that was, that was, that was our time, time, bro. That that, you know what? I remember it when it was later on. I feel like it was worse later on. Like, it was bad when it first started, but. Well, yeah, when all yeah. them teams and all that shit came out and niggas was team this and team that. Yeah, that was that was high school, bro. Shit. I did not know that. Uh, like early high school maybe too, like ninth, but, ninth, like ninth grade. But money, I don't, I don't remember that. That's kind of fair. That's kind of fair yeah. for money's assessment, though. Like when you think about it, freak nigga kind of like yeah. kind of like, like South Street, and now South Street is just now that shit just it's, it's dead. Just, it's just a ghost of itself. It's like you, you go there for a couple bars that's on there, but it's not even worth it. Even thinking of the the whole freak nigga revamp. Like we saw, they they doing it again, but it ain't like how that shit was in the nineties. It can never, it can never be like that. that. There's nothing like that. It like, can never be that. I actually, had, I actually had a question. So I forgot. What yeah, twenty ten. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. I remember that shit, bro. That was a wild time. Them flash mob days. I ain't never participate, but I remember like I haven't. I had homies that was into that shit, bro. Breaking in the mazes and shit. So, real quick. That shit never appealed to me. If, I don't, I I, that, shit was never, no, that shit was never thorough to me, bro. Like, ever. Like. So, I got a question real quick. I actually got two, but I got I got a question before we end this, John. Um, if, say for instance, whatever y'all thought was the downfall of Freak Nick or whatever, so be it. Like like I said, with me, it was, I feel like it was the, uh, the Olympics. You feels like it was, was Uncle Luke and shit like that. If neither one of those things happened, right? Like, Uncle Luke never was involved, or the Olympics was never picked at the land and shit like that. Y'all, th- y'all think Freak Nick would have still been going like how it was? No, nah. because eventually niggas still got too horny. Like it's still like, yeah. and, and that was my my argument. Y'all said Uncle Luke or what'd you say? You say Olympics? I said Olympics. Olympics. I was just saying niggas too horny. Yeah, I, I think point. at one point niggas. Think about it now, bro. You hear about like niggas move. like putting shit in bitches' drinks and shit. Like, yeah, no, and and even hard. now yeah. where, where we at? We see bitches butt booty ass naked. Like not yeah, online. Yeah, they don't be wearing shit. In person. Nah, yeah. Like yeah. you can go out to the bar and see a bitch and something lazy and see, see whole through. Yeah. And see a whole butthole. You know what's crazy? <laughs> like a whole the bitch would call you like butthole. The bitch would call you thirsty a, for looking a at A pervert. Her. Yeah. You nasty. Yeah, what the fuck you looking Bitch, at? I can see your, your areolas. What you mean I'm thirsty? What are you talking about? Use. I can see your Oreos, I Heffa. See what are you talking about? Butthole. Like the butt. Why do I know that you got nipple rings? Like why? Just the butthole. Like I can see your butthole. <laughs> you don't be butthole, huh? You I just... can't. I can't even imagine <laughs> the effect of what, what what you got. No, on bitches be outside in lingerie, bro. Like, my yeah. butthole is vulnerable. Bitches be outside in lingerie. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, like, like, like you can't see my butthole. Like it, like I can see your butthole in public. Yo, like them one body suits, bro. Bro, butthole. It's just, it's like money, this. Money. Down the bu- the we, got we got it. We, we, we got you, it. We got 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 it. All right. I was just saying. Go ahead. Use it. 
The, the, ones, your man, the ones he joined. The ones he joined? That's your yeah. lingerie, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, like, yo, you remember when you was a teenager? You know how, like, fly it was for you to get a nude from a bitch? Yeah. You was that nigga, yo. That like, nigga. To get a nude? You was that nigga. Like, like you got a what? A nude. Like, yo, nigga. bro, this bitch just sent me titties, bro. Like, yeah. yeah that nude. shit, the picture was all pixelated and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, it's just straight. <laughs> no <laughs> HD. No HD on them bitches, but it's just like, yo, who's that guy? I remember, like, I remember the Your day first I, I received a new bro. Like, yo, yeah, my name used nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Big, uh, freshman year, bro. Yeah, bitch, bitch was a, a senior, bro. Like, ooh, oh, you was really that ball ball for yeah, real. Bro. Remember, I took, remember, I told the story I got turned out at uh, high school. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. Yo, I felt like the man, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, like you, you could... bitch was sending me titty pics, bro. The craziest titty pics, bro. Titty no, bitch, anybody bro. can get that shit. I can go on Twitter right now. Yeah, anybody can get titties. Like, anybody can get that shit. That shit has no value now. Mm-hmm. Well, unless they scratch off. They scratch off. Yo, I don't think you understand. Just scratch off. Well, you don't, 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 don't use your don't, iPhone a lot, so. I don't think you. You know how fly it was to bring a bitch to the back room, bro? Yeah. Like. You was the man. You was that nigga, bro. To take a bad bitch to the back room? If you fulfill, you know what that means. If you, you know what that means. You know what that back room is, bro. Yeah, yeah. I even that if the bitch caught the train or the bus just to come see you. If a bitch nigga. got on scepter, scepter, bro. You nigga. See me? bro, wait, 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 wait. Don't say you ain't had to go meet her. She can't even right to your crib. No meet. What? Like, hold up. She knock on hold your up, door. Hold up. This how I knew I was that nigga. <laughs> Yo, you know? just say this it, bro, how I knew, nigga. We just unlocked some shit. How you know? I had a bitch from Roxborough, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Before the bitch came to my crib, she went to the poppy store, nigga. And what'd um, she get you? And got a platter. Oh. <laughs> That's how I knew I was that nigga. That's how I fucking knew. That's how I knew, nigga. What are you talking about? You know how far Rasbro is from North Philly? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, that shit, that's a fucking hike, bro. That's like two or three months. I'm from Smelly and Pike, nigga. <laughs> I want your poppy store food. The fuck? Your poppy yo, store. Yo, before you come to my crib, you gotta go to the poppy store and give me a cheesesteak platter, yo. Not mine, yours. Some people catch up fried onions and mayo. Yours. Heavy cheese, heavy, heavy cheesesteak. Yo, you was that, yo, yo. Let me tell you something. If you never had a bad bitch in the back room, you're not bull, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, <laughs> from, from out of your hood, too. From out of your hood? She can't be in your hood. No. No. What? What? <laughs> nigga. Like, what? Oh, man. You Good was times. that nigga, bro. Yo. Good times. If you never had a bad Yo. bitch in your back room, you not bull, Good bro. Good times. So, Good times. Sorry. Bro. Good times. Some poor times back in the day. Man, listen, bro. <laughs> God you so damn, bro. He read, he read to a whole rant, John. <laughs> real rant? Yo, bro. You know how you know you both for real, though? Oh. We had him on the couch. What? Not in back room. Yeah, the and couch. mom Dukes was upstairs. Yeah, living room. Yeah, yeah. Living in the room. living room, talking to her girlfriends, watching Oprah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yo, yo, yo. Good times. Pre Dick has brought up some memories. Apparently, <laughs> unlocked, unlocked some memories. Yo, I remember that. Yo, I remember having a bad bitch in the back room of a North Philly crib. Yo, I remember that Good shit, times. bro. Good times. Good memories. Memory. Knock her fucking head off, nigga. <laughs> good ten minutes, nigga. <laughs> hey, man, man, a good ten minutes, bro. In high yeah, school, the best ten minutes of life. Best That's when you ain't take your clothes off. You only had the pants at the bottom. Yeah, of your ankles. Yeah, yeah. You just go you in. Was afraid to get naked. Yeah. Bitch. Nah, I was, man, I was, listen, I was got butt naked. I like getting butt. I was never butt naked, boy. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't nah, I I'll, I'll, I'll leave my socks on. That's about it, though. I, man, I'm yeah. like a halfway butt naked dude. What? Nah. What? I keep my t-shirt on. Yeah. And my socks. I, 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 I wear my shirt off like the Hulk. Like, <sighs> I was never one of them bulls, bro. Like, nah, I just take pulling beer, pants down. Pants at the angles. Yeah. God. That's as far as... That's the nigga you gonna see. <laughs> what, what you said the last show? I, I I cut all my bitches that I fuck them. That was... I, I, I fuck butt naked and suck my thumb and just hold a titty and... I'm cracking up, yo. Just hug him. Damn, bro. That shit used to be... Good got, fucking times, bro. We gotta, we gotta have a pot about that, too. But, um... So I got That's what we named this pod Bitches in the back room. I'm cracking up <laughs> So uh, I got one more no, I got, we already I, said what the name was No we're not calling We're not calling it we're that, not calling that, that I'm bro. sorry bro not I, got, I got one more question Before we get out of here What's up um, Last so, one What's up what you got So out of hey, like Hey remember the time stamp 
out of all the do- like out of since we had a, a week <laughs> of documentary, since we had a, a week of documentaries and shit like that. What what is a, a, a like a documentary of a show or a person or whatever so be it that y'all might want to see next? Like be highlighted. What's a documentary y'all might want to see next? A show or like an event. Or a something? show. It could be a show. It could or be an event. It could be a person. I want to see a documentary of the DVD area. DVD Ooh, era. I like okay. that. Mixtape like era that. and shit. Yeah. Like Georgia that. had Cheek Raw, yeah. Vodka, and all them yeah. niggas. Yeah. Yo, damn. Yeah, that's three dollars and that's all a them. good one. That'd be yeah. a great joint to watch. That'd be a good joint. Yeah. Money. That's a good answer. Shit. Money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scared for his answer right now. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> You want us to come back to you? I don't really have an I, yet. Like, if you want to go DVD, I want to go DVD too. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, that's such a no, no. I can support. No, that's not. Answer, that's not. Right? No, no, that's not my first DVD that you gave me. You want? I want to go to that DVD. I ain't gonna lie, yo, that porn DVD. I want to know. Era, that was I'm, a great time, bro. But all that wraps into what you just said. No, it don't. No, no you, it kind of did because when you went to get the the headshot DVD, that's right next to that shit. The bro. old head was like, "Yo, I got." He had everything. He had everything, bro. It kind of do. I don't know. Wait, this in Philly, it did. Wait, in Philly, it did. It's different from rapping in front of a camera and sucking thirteen dicks on camera. So, man, man, what's what's your um, <laughs> <laughs> what's your so. documentary? <laughs> um, this nigga talking about no, the and shit. Me. Have y'all seen like the pictures on Instagram? Like Philly used to look like back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Like, I followed yeah. one. Of the I would, yeah. I would love to see a documentary on like the changing of like Philadelphia over the years, Ooh. like how the neighborhoods change and like redlining and all that shit. Yeah. I find that yeah. interesting. It was crazy you said that. Different. I went down a rabbit hole like two nights ago, high as fuck off shrooms, about how the L was built. And like how really? it went through Kensington. I'm gonna send it to you. It was I'm not, I'm not lying. It was, it was good? good as fuck. Yeah, I'm I'm watch that shit. it was very good. Oh my god! Speaking of kids, I'm sorry. I, See, I was chilling. That you, need a documentary you, you said, you, you, No, I, I, no, it's something. It's well, the story's saw, still being made. Something I saw yeah, on fucking, 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 uh, because y'all know I got my my segment with shit that happened in social media, but something I just saw the other, this morning with the fucking what's his boy name Skrilla or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that. Fuck! What the fuck was that? I know I'm a fan of Skrillex, so I don't know why you are. Cause he he's I, I humping mean, a fiend and making yeah. fiend music. What the fuck? With the beard on, like wait, 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 wait. What the fuck happened? He's, exactly, bro. It's an artist called Skrillex. He he's like from Kensington. If you you know about Kensington, everybody. So knows. in all his videos, his props are fiends. In in this video, he's humping. I don't want to. I don't even want to. I don't even care, bro. I don't even give a fuck. And his music, I don't, like, I'm never listening to that shit. Dog, yeah. I'm never listening to that shit. Bro. Yeah, his music is so horrible, bro. It's not even like good. That shit is <laughs> crazy. It's so fucking terrible. It's like a rap death metal that's crazy. Why do fuck. you listen to this nigga, bro? I don't know why you oh, do, yo, bro. This it's, is something about that nigga, like. What is about know, this nigga? You like, sound like a hoe. You like having it's something about props? that nigga. I just like the nigga music, bro. I don't yo, know. How? He sounds just like a Did hook. you did you hear that rap? It's, so, it's something about that nigga. You heard it? It's something about that nigga. He's I be on lean. He's humping the fiends. Humping fiends. How old is this nigga? Probably like 26, maybe. Too old for Mid-20s. Sure. If you were like 18, 20, I would. No, no. Yeah, that's more acceptable. You do. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like the fiends look like they could probably like teach third grade, third grade school, like if they wanted to smoked out, like they probably was. So they got smoked out. Probably. <laughs> I give them that. Bro. They didn't look. They didn't look too far gone. Wow. Yo, they, they, they fresh fiends. Yeah, they, they fresh fiends. Fucking here, ho. Um, Thanks, oh, bro. Just real quick though, since I already what else you got to? shit. Uh, Benzino, he Benzino this pulled nigga. up, fucking pulled up an Eminem, uh, Eminem and pulled he, up the Eminem's mom spaghetti restaurant and makes a music video, and it still is a restaurant sign. But he too old for that shit too. Like, did, wasn't he just crying like three weeks ago or some I don't shit know. about the shit about them fucking? Next. Yeah, like this is weird. Um, eleven year old killed trying to protect the pregnant. The, the, the pre- I uh, seen that a little for, bit. Say it again. 11-year-old was killed trying to protect a pregnant mother from serial domestic uh, abuser. Ex. One of her exes. Her, well, her, her exes. Fucked up. Fucked up. Uh, Jonathan Majors got sued by the girl, by her, by his ex-girlfriend. Her, the white yeah. girl? Yeah. yeah. 
Ah, dickhead. Fucking ridiculous. Um, but I heard he uh, possibly got uh, a role. Um, I heard rumors that he might be getting ready for a role for a movie. Uh, I heard something on Tubi. Fucking, um, well, some chick had a baby and then told the father that the baby was dead. Uh, but the commoner found out the baby was alive. But she told him it was, he. She told him the baby had died just to hurt him. I'm getting my cousin was- to fuck that bitch up. I'm sorry. That's, that's fucked up, yo. I'm getting my cousin to fuck that shit. bitch up. Bro, <laughs> okay. Uh, Aiden Ross said that Sexy Red took his virginity and she confirmed it, and then she tried to take it back like a couple of days later. So that's up in the air. Yeah, that's just wild. That nigga is stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Fucking God, don't say I'm it. starting to like low sexy rhythm oh music. My God. I know the, I what know. the fuck is wrong with you, yo? It's not about the music. It's about what the shit do to bitches, bro. Yeah, no, they, they, yo, her, that's cool. Her but shit, man. But for you to like, nigga, bro, yeah, listen, her, shit, her shit make, listen, bro, make them go listen. fucking nuts. Watch the bitches when sexy red come on, bro. I, I, I understand I dread, what you're every, saying, every time but I that don't get, mean every, you still got like the it, music. It, it get the time. people going. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> she got that little pregnant flab now too. It look a little sexy. I ain't gonna lie. She, I, Jesus Christ, I can't do it, bro. You I know can. how Tay used to do shit like buy liquor for the bitches, fuck her the lips. Yeah, <laughs> I listen to the music to see what the bitches doing. <laughs> That's cool, but you don't gotta like it. It's necessary evil. The beast, her beast, like, her beast, her beast, be her beast be fire, bro. Ski, it's, it's not even the beast. It's just the bitches just get extra. Yeah, yeah, but you don't like the music. Yeah, like like, like you're not playing that shit without a female being around. I appreciate it. That's She's that is. every other day. But doesn't mean day hood you're not a fan. Like, no, I'm so not a fan of Sexy Red. And um, it's like yo, like so yeah. you hear bow bow. It's like the bitches just get they like, just get they, they get wild. They get, they get, I get that. They get that in a circle. It's, it's like, freak dick. It's like freak dick. So music. in my mind, it's like, can I really be mad at Sexy Red? No, you can't. You can't. You really can't be mad. At I didn't bitch, say right? you gotta be mad at her, but I don't mean like if you say I like her music, that mean nigga you bumping that shit in the car. But I gotta like her music if I like the effect. No, you don't. Is. No, you don't. No, you can just like the effect the music have on the females. You're not banging that shit. I I'm can say you never, like somebody's music. I'm never but, having to one play sexy red. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not Twine. Like, <laughs> Twine like is sexy red. Twine like adores that bitch. Like, cool. I'm cool. Old Twine. Come yeah, on, I, man. I can't. Yeah. I can't. No. Come on, Twine. Do better. And then one last thing. Uh, it was a 19 a 19 year old twin uh, got stabbed in uh, New York uh, at a bodega at the at the rejecting a guy. So the dude. So it was like an argument that started in the bodega or poppy store. Call poppy store up here, but at the, at the bodega, and she rejected. She rejected them, and it like it just became a whole thing to a for, to a point where they got into a fight outside, and the dude stabbed her and her twin sister, and she died. The twin sister, the other sister, she she recovered, but she died. The the other one um, passed away from um, her injuries. Um, so that's that's they got right. him. Yeah, they got him. He okay. he turned he actually turned himself in. Um, like I think that he came up on the joint yesterday. What a uh, fucking loser! Like I just don't understand. What, like, if a, a female loser, say yo. they don't, they don't want you. They just is, take it. Like what the fuck? Like I don't just move on. We live in an era where niggas can't take else. Yeah, like can I ask y'all a question? What's up? When the last time y'all got rejected by a chick? Literally and, years. And be I've been in a relationship for forever. Be honest. Well. Um, let, I mean, before that, when the last time you got last last year before? I, yeah, last year. Yeah, last year. Money. Uh, in person or online? In, in person. person. In person. Okay. Sleep with the fuck? Nah, that's how long I, I think. Nigga, I don't know. And in person, Yo, I'm not saying, lying. And, and person, bro, is, in person so, is different. Nigga, oh, so, online, over so listen, eight, online, yeah. Years years ago. Ago. Yeah. But in person, nigga, like in person, yeah, in person. I, I can't online remember the last different. time I got rejected in person, but online, it definitely was like last year. But in person, it's been a minute since I got rejected in person. But that still doesn't mean I re- I will react like that if I got rejected. No, I'm, not, I'm just I'm just asking like yeah. bitches like, to say they got no, a boyfriend. Shit, I'm, I'm not still shit, you know like, what I'm saying being rejected is not easy, but it hurt. That like, don't mean yeah, you going hurt. fucking I, commit I, I, violence. I, I, yeah. I never took it like as like it's a numbers game. A L. It's yeah. just like all right. Well, I got I got to get the next bitch now. Like yeah, like I say it's yeah. a numbers game. It's like, almost, it, it was almost like a challenge. Like all right, well this bitch like me. I'm gonna get a better bitch. Like, yeah. Well, that's the way you should take it. But like I said, motherfuckers can't can't do this shit. Motherfuckers can't take L's. 
Motherfuckers can't take rejection now, dude. Motherfuckers just too sensitive. Shit. Even the okay, niggas, the so called alpha my, male. Then again, my sensitive. thing is like, right? What are y'all doing to get rejected by chicks? Maybe they just not. I don't know. Maybe they just don't like them niggas. Yeah, I don't maybe, know. Or maybe they just not attracted to them. Maybe it's not who they. Maybe want. they broke. I don't. I don't fucking know. Cause me, I. Cause this nigga, you. <laughs> Cause me, I'm that nigga. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ever, like, since, ever since then, it's, it's not, I don't think it's hard to get a girl, bro. I don't feel like it's hard to get a chick. Like I don't think it's well, hard, but if they some don't niggas are you. fucking shut-ins, bro. Like yeah. some, some niggas some nigga really what? are shut-ins. Shut some niggas really shut-ins. Ju- shut-ins. shut-ins. Shuttings. Shut. <laughs> I ain't the only one, right? Shuttings? Shut ins. What the fuck is a shut in? <laughs> What's a shut in? This <sighs> man when I'm on no, money side. I'm like, <laughs> What's a shut in? They live on the internet, bro. They, they don't go outside. Yeah. They that's, don't interact. That's a new term? Like, no, no, that's old they, as shit, bro. Yeah, bro. Shut in? Yeah, yes. shut in? Yeah. I never heard it. It's like man called a porch monkey. A what? <laughs> That's kind of racist, dog. Yo, 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 talk, talk, talk. I was talking to my niece today, right, on the way back from Poconos, and she said her school they like they use like racial slurs as jokes. What? Yes. And she said she got a Puerto Rican, a Latino friend. <laughs> she caught her a border monkey. <laughs> Oh, what? I don't know what that is. A border monkey. I don't know. Border I monkey. <laughs> oh, I just see somebody. Oh, that's, that's fucked up. That's it. That's that's, that's climbing a wall of. <laughs> all right, I'm. I, all right, man, man, you got cut this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we going. We going. Uh, we about to get our, canceled. We about well, to get canceled. Well, border <laughs> monkey. Wait, what? <laughs> you about to get canceled, bro? <laughs> we about to get canceled. You know what they call? You know it's bad you, when you say the cancelable shit. Yo, yeah, you, you know what's you, you know, know what's crazy? Yeah. You know what they was calling my niece. A big back gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> a big back. A big back gorilla. Yo, that's crazy. Wait, is this is this like amongst her friend group? This is amongst her friend group. Okay, she has like a Puerto okay. Rican friend. All right, I'm not gonna okay. lie. That's that's that's, that's right. different than what yeah, I, thought I thought you were yeah, going. I thought he was like, saying. I thought no, you meant like he said, wait, wait, no, said, no, no. The way you said it at her school, I'm thinking like uses the slurs. Like he oh, didn't okay. see my reaction when he said like, that. How she was explaining to me, like everybody has a friend group, because she goes to like a diverse, a diverse school, and like amongst her friend group is like a couple blacks, a couple whites, and a couple Mexicans. <laughs> How you laugh when you say Mexicans? <laughs> Why you laugh when she you say called her friend a boring monkey, bro? Like, That's oh, fucked up. Like, you're a child. Oh my god. But it's you're funny. a child. No, listen. It's funny because she's in, she's thirteen. <laughs> How we get here, yo? I'm trying not to laugh. Yo. This is not funny, but I'm trying to. A border monkey? I just see a monkey on this cage. Oh, a, yo, can you yo, imagine a Mexican trying. monkey? Exactly. <laughs> trying to escape the border. <laughs> like this. <laughs> What's up, Holmes? <laughs> we get canceled. Oh, my fucking we- God. <laughs> Holmes, oh, my where- God. Yo. Where's the border, Holmes? <laughs> I'm trying to get the rest of butter. Right, hey, yeah. Kill, can you just yeah, cut yeah. all this? Let's cut the last like four she minutes said, out. Right. She, right. Said, all right. she said, right. the fucking, I'm fucking crying she said the Mexican caught her a big Mac gorilla, yo. Yo, I fell the fuck out, yo. Is this what eighth graders are doing now? Say, shut up, Tay. I ain't gonna lie, for eighth graders do that Tay. fucking wild. Yo, like, Tay, uh, shut up. Like, yo, eighth graders do that fucking wild as shit. I'm fucking crying, man. I, can't. Like, I jokes, thought, yo, I thought, jokes in eighth grade, yo, bro, like, I thought, whoa. I thought a kid calling someone African booty scratchers the pinnacle. Yo, I um, didn't. A big back of <laughs> yo, no, no. I thought that was the yeah. pinnacle. Like, yo, no, I heard the most fucked up jokes in my life at PFP. Yo, in middle what? school, what we, what? <laughs> bro, <laughs> okay, a, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst shit? You heard? <laughs> I heard a lot and I seen a lot at that school. It was bad. <laughs> Very uh, bad. I ain't gonna lie. The stories we got about middle school is, is ridiculous. Bro. We should make that. We should write a, a memoir. Oh, my I ain't gonna lie. I'm writing a book one day. A that memoir, shit, right, shit gonna be wild. Yo. And un- half that shit un- gonna be about the middle untold school. Stories. <laughs> the untold stories of PFP. <laughs> oh, shit. People touching people charter school. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I got a pick. Yo, done, oh, yo. No, we done. Yo, we we, we, we done, yo. Uh, 
I'm done with y'all. Y'all, y'all. <laughs> so these, these niggas doing too much. This is the same box. No, fuck out of here. We done, bro. Fucking God. <laughs> <laughs>